Intel Mod Monday. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you. Uh, you're here. I'm just gonna let you introduce yourself. Okay. Versus like taking away the thunder. <laughs> uh, well, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Cauliflower, Kayla. Um, happy to be here today. That was it. What do you say? We have over hi. four hours let's, let's just segment for you this. to intro. Hey, all right. <laughs> well. Hi, everybody. My name is Kayla. I go by Cauliflower on Twitch. I'm a variety gamer. You might know me from my Dead by Daylight okay. content, my horror games, my Apex, everything. That's, that's what it is. And you've done some cosplay, too. Yes. Which is pretty rad. I do a lot. Yeah, I've, I've, I've tried to put together a cosplay, but it was pretty much just me wearing a unicorn onesie. I was pretty proud of it. But outside <laughs> of that, like, that's the extent. And actually, I never wore it. My whole community is probably going to now be very mad because uh, they're... Uh, we need they're, pictures. They, it's because I never... I, yes, I, I owe them uh, I owe them that. Um, but uh, we are here today uh, hanging out with Cauliflower. Now, Cauliflower is an interesting one because, I mean, there's a ton of people. Uh, we have about 400 people already hanging out. Um, it's not cauliflower spelled like cauliflower. It's no. because of how your name is, which was like an interesting yeah. thing. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody always thinks it's like the veggie. You pronounce it like the veggie, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so my real name is Kayla, but spelled like Kala is in cauliflower. Okay. And it was a nickname that I had in high school. Yeah. Just some people were making fun of my name. And I just realized that we match today. Like, we're both wearing we black and blue jeans. Look at this. I, I, I didn't wear docs. Sorry. It was, I almost, I brought them. But I just, I just, I was like, yeah, there's no way that this is going to be. just didn't put them on. just didn't put them on. But yeah, we're here today and uh, hanging out. So, uh, today's going to be an absolutely awesome day. Uh, it's going to be a day of PC building. And then we got some Apex Legends, which is, which is kind of started to be a trend. Um, very popular game. And you, mm -hmm. that's something that you've been getting into, right? So, um, and not, not even in a light way. You've actually done some Twitch. <laughs> Rivals, like yeah, no, I like I competed in two Twitch rivals and I got third my first time and second the next time. Granted, I was playing with a bunch of pros. I got to draft my team, so I got to pick some really cool people that were very good and helped me. But okay. yeah, it's well, going I, I want really you to well. I want you to go like this. Put your say this is your, this is my bar, and now I'm playing with Roby, so my bar is way down. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be all right. Tomber was back there uh, showing me how to actually, I didn't know this, but if you push the left mouse button, you actually shoot. Oh, really? And I didn't, mm. like this whole time, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually know that you could use the weapons. I just thought they were to make you look good. So I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, you know, I was feeling pretty good. So I was like, I thought my whole job was literally just to collect loot for other people. So I was like, oh, look at all these yeah. legendaries somebody's going to get as soon as they... No, I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm not that bad, but uh, it'll be fun. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be building a pretty awesome PC. Um, let's... Let's talk, before we go into the PC parts, we're going to talk about those here in a minute, but do you, I've heard something interesting about what is the core processor that is in your current system, because this is unique. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. You know, I told them I needed key cards when okay. we were doing the interview. I have a, what was it? I don't remember. I don't, I, oh, okay. So it was I, a seven. So it's actually a workstation. So you actually are running a workstation at X, uh, which is, which is absolutely, inco which is super cool. But this is still going to be a heck of an upgrade, but your dad actually, <laughs> is your dad like a PC yeah. builder? Okay. So talk. So I've had a couple builds now, but every time I have help and it's kind of like <laughs> my friends or my dad or whoever right. gets the list of everything. They help me get everything and then they basically do it for me. That's okay. So I, you know, I'm not super tech savvy. That's okay. But I'm going to learn. You are. You, in fact, you're going to build the majority of this PC. So this I'm one, excited. like, I'll be here to help, but more like a guide. Like I'm like <laughs> your, your spirit guide. Like, and, and like, think of this as like, we're on a Disney channel show and I'm literally like that little, I don't like know, Jiminy it. Cricket, who's going to help you through PC building and stuff like that. I, that's a terrible <laughs> visualization, but we'll go from there. Let's talk about the parts that we're putting in the PC today because they are actually pretty good. Starting with the CPU, uh, we're using the Intel 11900K. Uh, right now, this processor has come down actually quite a bit in terms of cost. They're about 580 bucks. I think it's like pictures, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you can basically you have you have that squared away for that. I don't know. I don't know if you collect any other weird images, but we're just gonna, we're just going <laughs> to pretend you, that we'll just, whatever it is, it's, we'll that's what it's for, and it's black, so it's super secret. We'll we'll leave it at that. Uh -huh. um, for your RAM. Crucial Ballistics, this is a 16, a 2 by 16 kit, so it's 32 gigs, um, which is great. So in other words, if you wanted to upgrade later and put in some more RAM, um, should you decide to get like hardcore into video editing or anything like that, just gives you a little bit of extra, um, a little a bit of extra kind of growth for your PC in general. Um, and then, let's see, oh, cooling. 
I love these. These are a lot of fun. These are actually customizable, which is something a lot of people don't know about. But this is the uh, Corsair H100i Capellix, Elite Capellix. Um, great cooler. Uh, all in all, like uh, it's uh, there. The, you can unscrew the little plate that goes on the AIO. So if you wanted to put like yeah, like a dragon or whatever Ooh. it was, like you had the option of doing that. There, there's actually companies you could buy this from. Um, the only thing too is it's just like because we're using the Corsair kind of RGB ecosystem with their ML120 Pros. That means you have you also have a lot of options with their IQ software to change your lighting to however it looks. Right now, the kind of the primary theme is you've got like a red, black, and white theme. It's mm -hmm. kind of what we decided to go with. But uh, with, the, with IQ, uh, it's just a very, very customizable, and you have a lot of options in terms of your lighting, which is awesome. great. Um, the part that everybody is always excited about is not this, but it's not sexy, but it's important, and that is your MSI, MAG, 8A50GF. This is your power supply. Um, you kind of need one of these. Um, the good thing about having an 850, uh, which is kind of cool, is that you could go up to a 3080 or whatever next version, 4000 series or whatever, from this, and you'll have more than enough power and headroom for that, which is great. Should you decide to custom water cool or who knows what else you decide to do with this? You never know. You might, yeah, maybe. This, might, this might change your whole perspective on streaming. It could, yeah, it could. It this could. could be my new thing. And then finally, the part that everybody's been waiting for, and a big thank you to MSI for hooking this up. This is the MSI Ventus RTX 3070. Ooh, does it line up just right there? Okay, there we go. It's good. Uh, MSI Ventus RTX 3070, great for 1440p gaming. You pay at 1080p right now, so you've got some, move, you some opportunity to move up. Uh, any game like Apex, um, you're looking at on a 3070 with an 11900K, you're looking at 200 plus frames per second unlocked, um, which is going to be more than enough for you to so play like a pro. Yeah. Unless you're me, it doesn't matter how many frames, you just play <laughs> like Roby. Um, but you're way better than I am already. Um, so it should be an absolutely awesome build. Very. The other thing that's really nice is you're basically only dealing with IQ and Dragon Center, so from, from a compatibility and basically control perspective, very, very light on that side. Um, and uh, should be pretty straightforward in terms of the build. Now, the last thing that isn't here that we'll look at here in a minute is we've got the Cor her case, and she's using the Corsair 5000D Airflow. Uh, if you watch my channel and you watch some of the stuff we just recently did, an ultimate case review on that, some of the best thermals we've seen in a case. Um, and it's just an overall paired with the ML120s. It's going to be nice and quiet, plus nice and cool. So you should have a great, great PC on your hands. I'm excited. Any questions? I just did a lot of talking. You, and you just did. Were like, you were like, I'm just like numbers. information overload. I'm excited about the, the flashing lights, the pretty colors, there you the go. RGB. Let's get it, into it. It makes it go power, and it, when you put it all together, it goes beep, beep, boop, boop, and then boom, wow. everything goes, and then, with everything, everything's great. And then great. video games. Yeah, play video games, exactly. <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and then so the other thing too is, by the way, guys, we will have giveaways that are going to happen throughout the show. We have some actually pretty rad stuff. I'm super excited. We're here celebrating Pride um, as part of uh, this whole thing. It's hence the, the, the change in the logo, but we have this really cool, I hope we have a picture of it, this really cool... Matt, mouse mat. Now we're also giving away some great stuff like a 500 gig uh, NVMe SSD. We've got 32 gigs of RAM. We've got a one terabyte SSD, which is one of their extension, their their uh, externals. We've got 512 uh, gig 660p. But down there, we've also got oh, also an 11600k. We've got um, as well as that. But those swag kits, if we can show one of those, they're super super cool. They've got the mouse mats um, that says love is love. Just some really really cool gear that we're going to be giving away, and we're going to be doing codes throughout the show. We'll be giving you codes throughout the show, um, and you just need to enter those to win, and then you'll be notified post the stream of whether you won or not. So you need to tune in. All of the stuff is going to happen throughout the stream. We're going to be giving you those codes, and then you're going to basically walk away. Oh, and then, hey, we're, let's go do the first code. The first code is going to be pride. So there we go. On top of that, I, I didn't even know I was going to nail it <laughs> right there, but there it is. First code is pride, and then you can see the swag kit over there to the right. That, that, that mouse nice. mat's hot. Just saying that. I want uh, one. Well, I think I think I think Do we I know one? I think we know somebody. Okay. <laughs> I mean, definitely, I think I think we can I think we can hook that up. Good. But there's the first one from there, and so I think we have a total of ten codes that we'll be giving out throughout the show. But the first code uh, for your additional entry is Pride, so it's going to be super awesome. Okay, so let's start putting this stuff off to the side, and then we're going to start building. The stuff that we'll need is pretty much right here in the center. Nice. We'll need that. We'll need uh -huh. this. We'll need this. We don't need the hard drive yet. Just kidding. We're not going to throw it. Okay. 
And let's see, okay, don't need this, don't need this. Uh, and let's get you a screwdriver. We've got, oh I always like to bring this one on just because it's so big <laughs> for no other reason other than it's so big. This is actually the one we'll use the most, um, but we'll go from there. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open this box right here. All this is right. your motherboard. And we can go ahead and start oh boy. taking all that stuff out. So you can hand me the kind of the extra parts right there. There we go. And it's all up in here. There we go. Yeah. All right. Don't be shy. Okay. Well, you know. Now let's see what we need out of this. We'll need the, that little bag right there. This little loop. Yeah. This right here. And then that's kind of it. Oh, and then those. Actually, you did a good job. You grabbed the... Uh, we need oh, that. yes, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, perfect. I, I knew that's what <laughs> yeah. we needed. Okay. So that's all we need out of here. We're gonna put this off to the side. This is where we're gonna put all your extra stuff. Okay. Okay, so you can go ahead and take that out of the bag. There's the pillow. Doo -doo. That's all taped. Having fun yet? Uh, yeah, but it's all taped, and you know I don't want to like launch this they don't thing want you, yeah, right just, at like, the beginning. Just shoots out. <laughs> just shoots out of the screen. Like, hey, day. well, we were going to give you a PC, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so you can just all pop right. that right there in the center, facing towards you. Uh, the other this way. way. Keep, this going, way. keep going. There you go. You got a full rotation. <laughs> Almost there. One more. Okay. Close enough. Okay, so what you're going to do? Let's go. Ahead. This is always the fun part. People love this. Is all these little blue tabs are peels. So you can basically pull off all of the blue stuff and let's go ahead and start peeling and getting it kind of nice. peeled and ready. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Okay. I like this. Yeah, this is the, this is the fun. Oh, see, love, oh, people love sound. that sound. Hello? There you are. There it is. Oh, it did not come off? It didn't okay. come off. So you have to use your fingernails then. <sighs> I know, what lame. That? Like, what was the point of the sticker then? <laughs> you tease us. And then there it is. All right. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna keep this. On. Well, we don't need this on. We're gonna take this off. We we know this. Luckily, I'm here, so I can I can help you with that. And then, did this actually come off? No, one of the tabs broke. Okay. I think it was that one, yeah. Oh, look at that. There <laughs> it is. All the shiny. That is a beautiful. Uh, look at the. It's got like a like a multi-tiered pattern with the on the VRM. So this is okay. actually what this does is this cools, helps uh, uh, manage power that goes to your CPU. Um, that's all done via these connectors up here, but this is like, this is like a very fancy looking uh, yeah. design there, which is very high tech. Cool. Okay, let's get your CPU in. This is the brain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out that little arm and then kind of open this, the whole thing up. Take out the little, what? Right, so you're gonna kind of like pull off to the right and then lift up. Yeah, see how that just comes out? Yes. Mm, maybe up. There we go. There you go. And then just open the door all the way. What? It's like this. Just lift it up. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, let's see if they actually put your CPU in here. That'd be super awkward. Oh, yeah, like... they remembered. <laughs> Those guys. Okay, so in there, whoa, that's really stuck in there. If you want to go ahead and pull that out, open that up, and then your CPU should be in there. <laughs> it's pretty crazy when you think about it. It's like, hey, you have like $600 in your hand right now. Right? Okay, so you're gonna, what you're gonna do is pop open the thing. Don't wanna touch the, the bottom. So you just wanna pop, yeah, that. just, the, that's the top. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay, this is all, like, again, you, you haven't well, done this before. I haven't yeah, done no, this you myself. Haven't. No, no, no. I've had people do this for me. No, and I don't, and again, everybody, like, usually what happens, we have a ton of people who sit there and watch YouTube and all that stuff to learn. You've never done this, so it's totally yeah. okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it from the sides right there. Here? Just like that, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Now there's a, two little like dimples and they go, you're just gonna drop it right in there. Right in here? Yeah, just like that. Ooh, Perfect. Ooh. And then we're just gonna verify that it's in. There it is. Now you're gonna kind of repeat this. This little bit goes underneath that little, that little screw like so. Just like that, yeah. And then you're gonna pull that and then pull, it's gonna get hard to pull. Oh, I see. And you're gonna push it and go back under. And then that little t thing is just Does gonna pop off, off just okay. like that. And you're gonna go over Shit, and kind of yeah. under, yeah. There you go. Woo. That's it. You put I'm in your first it. one. <laughs> there it is. You, you've actually got it. You've installed your CPU, guys. That was awesome. Okay, next up, we're going to install our RAM. This is a little bit easier, but it's fun. <laughs> 
And everybody, what people care about with RAM is how good the click is when you put it in. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like their ASMR thing. Like the better the click, the happier the audience becomes. Am I right, guys? You guys can let us know here in the chat. Like it's called, you'll see my, uh, you'll see some people who have like click emojis who are part of my, uh -huh. there it is, they're talking about the click. Yeah, the click. Yeah, the click. Everybody loves the click. So you got to get a good click. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get one. Yeah, it's all facts. People, people know about this stuff. The click is the whole thing. Yeah, they're excited. They wow. are very excited wow. about this part. There's the, there's the click uh, there's a click emoji right there. Um, so let's open this up. Do we have? They give us a way to cut stuff open. Mm. Do we have the razor blade, guys? I just use your teeth. Um, oh, just use just my use teeth. Use your teeth. That's good for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got. Oh, this is like a high end. Do we have the other one? <laughs> this is like the, this is like the. Give, give us one second. Give okay, okay. Hold on one sec, guys. We're gonna just get out a knife there because the, they actually handed me a real razor blade, and then so yeah. they're gonna, and that'll just be. <laughs> oh, and let's go. Why don't, while we're waiting here, we're just going to go through the parts list one more time, guys, so you guys could people know. It says we're getting like we're getting close to a thousand people here on the show. Uh, we're using an Intel 11900K. We're using an MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Carbon. So this has got PCIe Gen 4, a care of MSI, as well as uh, uh, cooling by Corsair, and also that super, uh, uh, that super great uh, Corsair 5000D Airflow. Okay, so let's go and pull our RAM out. Oh boy. So pop that open. <laughs> Doo -doo. Getting jazzed up, guys. Getting jazzed up. Okay, so you All got right. one. So now the way this is going to work is I'm going to go ahead and pop open these two. I think there's, yes. And see, there's a little, there's a little break on the PCB. Uh -huh. You see there's a little break yeah. right there? You're going to line that up and just kind of set it down nicely. Oh, interesting. Just like that, yeah. Just like that. Now. But then the... Then what you're going to do is you're going to get, to get the click. <laughs> you're going to take your thumbs on both sides and give it solid pressure. Now kind of get your mic down there because that way people can hear it. <laughs> It's a big one. This is gonna work. Yeah, just gonna. Don't worry about putting too much pressure. You're totally okay. That's. Oh, I didn't do it. No, let me give it a go. I didn't do it. Let me just see what's okay. You had it right for sure. Yeah, you did. You're good. You had it right. Just people get nervous. Yeah. I just, oh, did you hear that though? Yeah, I heard it was yeah. nice. That's a good one. That's wow. a good one. Okay, now let's see okay, if you can do okay, it with the next okay. one. I got the two slots open. <laughs> prepared. All right. Get ready. Oh, that was good. That was a good click. That was a, that was a solid like click. It. Eight out of 10 on the click. Eight out of 10 on the click. So there we go. Yeah, that click was every, yeah, people are celebrating. Yes, they it are was, happy about it the click. It was click, click, boom. That's all I got to say. And so you've got two, <laughs> you got basically two sticks in on that. We could, oh, man, that was a moment. That was a moment. Okay. Next up, we're going to remove some little shields here. Like the agents of shield, but not. Mm. Okay, let's get your little tiny screwdriver here. Oh, wow. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to remove these four screws. Okay. Boom. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I need a moment because of that click. That click was, <laughs> it was an emotional, it, it was emotional. tears to your eyes. Yeah, it did. It did. It brought tears. It'll bring tears to you someday. Uh -huh. Okay, you're good. I think that's just, yeah, it probably doesn't loosen cause... all the way. It's probably a captive screw. You never know with Ooh. all of these different ones. You just don't know. While you're doing that, I'm going to grab... This little bad boy. There we go. Pull all the screws. Yeah. I don't want to lose those. No, they're important. They're so tiny too. Is that one not coming? That one may not come out. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. Maybe. So we can just go ahead and remove those. Just yep. lift it up. <laughs> Perfect. Do all them. right. There's that. There's that one. Hmm. That little dude doesn't want to come out. I wonder if it's it might I wonder if it's held down from something else. Let me see. Oh, there's one more up here. Oh. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that either. They're gonna trick you. They're trying to be tricky. Sneaky. Okay, there we go. All right. That one came out? Okay, cool. Now let's see if we can get it lifted up. Oh, there's this one. Oh yeah, that one too. Let's just keep just, <laughs> this, Hey, guess what? That screw was not there when we started. I think it's literally just adding screws. It just appeared. They're like secret screws. Okay, there we go. Oh. That one came out. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, now. Now it's gonna come off. Okay. Whew. Ah. It's just like it was playing it was playing tricks with our heart. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do 
is we're going to find the razor blade, which is right in front of my face. Way to go, Robes. You wonder why I'm bad at Apex. I can't even see the things that are right in front of me. Okay, so let's pull out your NVMe SSDs. Flip them out like waffles. That's a hard drive. It's awesome. Okay. So there's that one. Let's grab another one right here for you as well. So how, how's your experience so far? I mean, I know that we're only like three components in, but uh, <laughs> if I was like a, if I was like a, um, if this is like a survey monkey and you got a survey monkey right now, if you're going to rate our service from a one to 10. Oh, you'd easily get a 10. Oh, you're I so kind. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, I still want the PC. <laughs> we're if I told part you part of the way through. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'll give you a real rating once we're done with this whole thing. And you're like, you were a four <laughs> and I never want to see you again. No, genuinely, this is really cool though. Cause I've never actually done any of the like placing of any of the parts. I just kind of watch it get done. Does your dad know that you're doing this today? Yeah. Is he well, watching? I actually saw my mom in chat earlier. Oh, snap. So I don't know if he's watching right now, but my mom's in there at least, so. Okay. Hello. Okay, so we need this one. So what you're gonna do, we may need this one. Actually, we, may, we actually might be fine. So what you're gonna do is, I'll show you how to do it on one. So it has a little little PCB, mm -hmm. little, uh, little gap like the other one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna line up like that, and you're gonna just pop it in. See how, and then it works like a, Almost like a little oh, diving board. So yeah. you want to take that one, and that one goes right there. Oh, okay. Flip it the other way. Uh, wait, which way? This way? Turn it over. Yep, yep. And then you see how there's a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Just like that. Slips just in there. You push it in, and it'll kind of be like a diving board. There oh, you go. I see. Okay. Give it a kind of hard push. There you go. There it is. And you've got two of them. See? Okay. I'm sorry, I was just having fun. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and you can go ahead and peel the back off of that. That's, uh, it's, that's a thermal pad. What that does is that dissipates heat off of these M.2s. Well, not the whole not thing. Not the just whole the, yeah. thing, I know. Well, don't, don't be too overzealous. <laughs> Still here, just like, rip oh, it that, all out. That corner doesn't, okay, there. There you go, there perfect. Go. Cool, I'll take that from you. All right. Put that over there. Okay, now we're going to flip it back over, and you're just going to put it back on top, and then you can see how it goes. Yeah, just like that. Gonna put it right back on top, and then that little line is gonna line up right with that right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's fine. You trust me, kids. There you go, just like that. Just like Set that. Set it down. Yep. Okay. Set it down. <laughs> okay. Now, while I put this stuff away, go ahead and start screwing all those little screws back mm -hmm. in. Okay. I'm gonna clean up our, our mess. Okay, guys. Guess what? We got a second code. Second code coming up. While we're getting things kind of screwed in there. The second code is, drum roll please, MSI Carbon. You know why? Because we're using an MSI Carbon motherboard, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's, like, it's like these things are related, ladies and gentlemen. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> so, who's, okay, so we, there we go. We see some people in Sovereign. Thank you very much for putting pride in MSI Carbon. People are putting things in. Screw the screw. We're working on it, Edwin. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, not drum roll please. Why? Come on, that like builds up hype. I'm trying to figure out where each of these Okay, and then goes. right now we're scrolling through. Here you guys are seeing some of those, those prizes right there. There's that Crucial MX500, uh, one terabyte. That's not right. Um, and then uh, you saw the Crucial Ballistics RAM. There's that 512 gig 660p NVMe SSD. So all sorts of things that, are, that we're showing. There. There's that. We're giving away an 8, 850 GF power supply, which is the same one we're using in here. It's got that nice dragon in it, which is cool. Um, there's that uh, core liquid, the 240R AIO cooler. Really like the way this looks. It's a nice low pro profile um, uh, cooler head. It also has the um, it also has the pump on the uh, radiator, which is nice. And then there's your i5-11600K, probably one of the best rated um, value CPUs right now. I think that's it. Yeah, cool. Is that all of them? Next up, yeah, that's all of them. Why you want to peel that one off? Because you still got one more. You oh, yeah, 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 you're right. It's all good. Hey, no, you're doing the right thing because you're like, hey, there's well, I'm an like, extra why screw. is there an extra screw? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair question. <laughs> that is a fair question. And I, and I applaud you for uh, paying attention to that stuff. You're like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. Well, I don't want to mess yeah. it up. No, you're right, doing great. Way, what do we... So it's going to go the other way so you can see the text there. <laughs> and then that one's going to line up just like with that little hole right there. Let's see, so when this goes down, oops. So when that goes down, it's going to go, that screw's going to go right there. Just like that. I yeah. got you, yeah. Perfect. And it just kind of sits on that other. There, good, perfect, done. And then that's where that is. Okay, there we go. Cool. 
So some people are saying, like, we got people saying they definitely need a power supply. How long will the stream be? Uh, uh, most, most of the time, um, it takes about 12 to 15 hours, um, but we're going to try and cut it down to three. <laughs> Dude, no, I did not it'll be about three that. hours, guys. I just, to see who, I just wanted to see what happened when he thought it was going to be like, uh, he thought it was going to be like 12 hours. That's great. No, no, guys, it's not bad. We usually, when we do this stuff, when we usually, when we build these, it's about two and a half hours, three hours. And this is a pretty good build. And honestly, she's picking it up super fast. So. Is that doing the right thing? It should be. Mind here, let me give it uh, a go. Yeah. Just check it yeah, out. Yeah. Ooh, that is weird. It doesn't feel like it's. It doesn't look like it's quite in. There we no. go. There you go. There. And maybe, boom. Maybe check those. Oh yeah, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give them, I'll give them. Yeah, just. We're gonna do like the, we're gonna do the tech check. I like it. You nailed it. I don't even. Okay, well, we're just gonna let her build the rest um, of this. Um, you're like, no, no, that's not a thing. Not okay, fair. cool. So, you're, guess what? Your motherboard's done. I'm dead serious. Like, you've already got your all, all your major components are in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and grab our cooler and just get our um, basically our AIO mounts ready mm -hmm. to go, and then we're gonna put it inside the case, and then we're we're gonna start cooking with the gas. Okay. Wow. Okay. So here we go. Like this. Now, uh, what are some of the other games? Like if people were to tune in, I know you've been getting into Apex and then Death by Daylight. And they, you actually got a pretty interesting uh, relationship with the Death by Daylight stuff. You also do, like you're one of their... Well, so I am one of their... So it's called Dead by Daylight. Oh, sorry. Close yeah. enough. Close That's, enough. Maybe I'm going to get death by them when they basically maybe. are like, way to get the name wrong. So it's called uh, Dead by Daylight. I'm one of their fog whispers. It's one of their creators and their like creator program that they have. Basically, I create a ton of content for them and they go, you're cool. We like you. Here's some cool perks. Well, I'll tell you right now, they're not going to say that to me. They're going to be like, you know, it would help. <laughs> If you actually got the name of the game, yeah. If right. you actually said the game right, yeah, yeah. yeah but <laughs> that seems kinda, like a, a know, pertinent skill. I kind of do a little bit of everything these days. You know, I did the Dead by Daylight thing for the past five years, but we're branching into other things. Still focusing a lot on scary stuff. Okay. I love horror games, but Apex was also just like. Like everybody plays Apex. Oh, that like is it's, true. It's such a big it's, thing now. It's a fun game, though. It, it is. really is. I'm really, and that is something we're going to be playing later tonight. So if you guys tune in later yeah. on, we're actually going to be playing some more Apex as well. So what we're going to do now? This is the bracket that's going to go on the back. I'm going to show you how it goes, and then we'll let you. So on the back of your motherboard, this is just going to stick in to these little holes mm -hmm. right here. And we got to find the right. So what you're going to do is you're, there's a little retention. So you're going to bring them all in. Okay. Like this. I get very good at one-handed <laughs> versions of this after a while. What we're going to do is we're going to just make sure it fits. Oh, it's like, it's going to work? Maybe. There you go. Okay, so there it fits. So what I'm going to do is have you peel that off and then just go ahead and set that on the back there for me. A little 3M peel. We like to have you do as many peels as possible. I can tell. That's Peeling is an important part. It's appreciated. It makes it more appealing. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. I've got some dad jokes for you later. Don't worry. They're <laughs> happening. Okay. All right. So, and then we just like. Yeah, just stick it in. Just make sure it's nice and solid on there. Ow. And then it's in each one of the holes. Are we feeling good? I think so. Okay. Okay. It seems good. Okay. So we're in like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these are the little retention brackets for this. And so you're going to take each one of these and you're going to screw it into the four holes on each side. Okay. See? Okay, so here's the one that, here's actually one that Dead Mouse told us. Why do they bury lawyers eight feet deep? <laughs> Why do they bury lawyers? Deep? I don't know. Why? Because deep down they're good people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got come on. That was even that one. That one even had that one even we had got the dad jokes. Uh, the da oh yeah, I have lots of dad jokes. I have a whole channel on my Discord just dedicated oh, to literally really? thousands and thousands of dad jokes. Oh, and we will be reading them and making you smile the entire show. My community loves dad jokes. Oh, they're so and good. Puns and things. So oh, yeah, good. they're gonna like you. Oh good. Well then, uh, hopefully. Go and again, guys, if you guys want to tell us some, we're gonna read them right off of our channel. Go to discord.gg/robytech. Head to the dad joke section. Put your favorite ones 
questions in there, and we'll basically be putting in there and reading them off through there. Because, I mean, I want you to be entertained. You're getting the full Roby Tech experience. Your, your dad is going to be super proud. He's going to be like, man, those are some of my favorites. Oh, God. And then we go from okay. there. So we'll go for it. Okay, so now, guess what? Our motherboard is 100% ready. Ooh. What we're going to do now is put this off to the side like that, and we're going to grab your case, which is right here. here. Hey. I was like, wow, yeah, maybe they'll give you a case. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do now, <laughs> this is the Corsair 5000D. The one thing I really appreciate this about this particular case is how much you can grow into it. Like this, this can be, you can basically, it's very modular. You can do things all the way from custom water cooling, just like what we're doing now with air cooling, well, mm -hmm. with AIO cooling, which is super cool. Lots of, as you can see, there's a ton of air that can basically go through this, um, which is also super nice. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip it down. So what I'm going to do is start having you pull parts <laughs> off of it. So, okay. So you can just pull that off. Maybe don't hulk it, but. Yeah, don't, yeah, here, hand them to me, and then we'll put them <laughs> over, over here nicely. Okay, so then what next step is, there's some thumb screws. Mm. I got you. There you go, you got me. Okay, and then this is just gonna kind of pop out, just <laughs> like that. And if you wanna remove that tape. Oh, there we go. All the peeling. Yep. <laughs> we, we just want it to be perfect. Okay, awesome, and then, Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this, and I'll, I'll put this on the side so you guys can see this. So here we go. Get it from that side. So what you're gonna do is you can open these. Oh. And you can just basically lift them right off. So when you open them all the way, oh. just like that, then you just pull it up. Ooh. Perfect. And then same, you can go and pull out the extra stuff. Oh. There you go. Bubble wrap. Yeah, that's so you can actually change, like, if you want to do water cooling and oh, all that sort of okay. stuff. So this has got a different, well. different, like, addition to it. And then in here, if you want to pull, so what you do is you pinch this and pull it out. That's going to be all your hardware if you want to pull that out for us. Just like that, yep. Cool. Okay, cool. So we'll take this. We'll use these trays here in a few minutes. So we'll put this off to the side. There's that. Okay, now, continuing our turnaround process. I'm gonna have you take the tape off of the top there. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Boom. Great. And then there's a little dust filter. You can just yeah. literally just lift this up and take it out. And this is gonna be important stuff. So the one thing I like to have you do this is because if you need to do maintenance on your PC, <laughs> yeah. you'll remember that, hey, this does actually yeah. come out, et cetera, right? I know what I'm doing. So exactly. Please so look. now you can actually go ahead and pull off the front of this just by pulling on the side. There you go. Nice. Okay. And then go ahead and take that dust filter off. A little latch, perfect. Wow. Stripping this like a pro. <laughs> and remember, this is even a family-friendly stream, and you're actually getting some, some I know. It's PC case stripping. This is okay on, show, on Twitch. <laughs> this doesn't break any terms of service. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and then We're this good. one, finally, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to undo these two thumbs. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to kind of pull out. So I'll just have you do this. You're just going to kind of pull out towards it. That way you can just kind of feel what it feels like. Huh. What do you mean, pull out yeah, towards just it? towards you. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if that, that, oh, that one was not all the way. Oh, yeah. We can hold it. Let's actually put that back in. We want it to be captive. Stay in there. Yep. There you go. I'm breaking things. No. Okay, let me try. You try. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. There it is. Oh, ha, ha. So, yeah, it's one of those things you, you can never, and you get to peel these later. Oh, yes. these, get, these go at the end. Okay, good. That's what everybody would get mad if we did it before. I was going to be sad. I don't want you to be, I don't want people to be mad at you. You're doing a really good job. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do real quick, and then I'll pull some dad jokes while you're at it. There are, we're going to remove these fans with this Excalibur. <laughs> so you're just going to unscrew the four screws on this one so and the one from the back. Excessive. It's so big. <laughs> it just, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, fair enough, fair enough. But I was hey. talking about the screwdriver. Yeah, no, um, we're good. Okay, here we go. We're going to pull the, uh, we're going to pull the, um, we're gonna pull some dad jokes here from what people read. Okay, a bear walks into a bar, bartender says, what can I get you? Bear says, I'll take a gin and tonic. Bartender goes, what's with the paws? Bear says, I was born with them. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. Oh my gosh. Uh. Um, <clears throat> 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm trying to see, what do you call a hippie's wife? Uh, a Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Woo. Uh-oh. Okay, and then uh, we'll see if we can find one more. <laughs> okay. Uh, I dropped a Okay, for National Sushi Day, what do you call bad sushi? I don't know. A raw deal. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> These are so bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. You can go and pull those in there from there. Boop. Yeah, I know. They are great. They are the worst, and that makes them that makes them great. They're not the worst. They bring joy to all of you, and you know it. Okay, so what I'm going to do while you're doing that is I'm going to go and pull these cables out. This is seriously the weirdest screwdriver I think I've ever seen. It's just, it, all in oh, all, it's like, just it's... so excessive. I know, but it, 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 like, it does a good job. No, I, I mean, it works. It's just kind of... It's kind like, of... Why am I all the way back here? <laughs> <laughs> Only got one more to go. The thing is, we got, oh, it's okay. You can just you can hold on to it if you want. If I had like another, one, I don't see like another no, it's, one. It's I was just good. Like, I like how excessive it is. It's just so, it's just very. I don't know. It's just it's just really long. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically disconnected the cables already. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pull this one. Where are you? There you are. Out through here. Okay, so we can put these off to the side now. We got to do the fun part, which is installing all the fans. Oh. So these are the fans. These are RGB fans, which means already the performance of your PC is going to go up 200% more. Obviously. Obviously. So what we're going to do is pull out the extra stuff. Luckily, because of the AIO we need, you don't have to worry about that. I wonder if, I think they did, yes. These are the greatest things ever. It's a little tool. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you we're going to flip this around, just like you installed them. I mean, just mm -hmm. like you removed them, now you can install them. Okay. Okay, so first one right here. And I don't like to deal with the twisty ties. I just cut them. Oh, just, okay. Just makes it a whole lot faster. There we go. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to install it like, I want to make sure the label's straight. Okay. I'm going to run this cable right here. I'm going to have you screw that. So the so basically you want the holes at the very, like as high up at the very top as you can get. So just like. Like the bottom here. Yeah, yeah. see, just like that. Yep. Screw those in with the super long screwdriver. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to prep these other fans for you. You're literally improving your cooling with every single tightening of the screw. That's a moment for you right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's cool, your mom. Do your mom and dad watch your streams a lot? Actually, yeah. I'm oh. very lucky that I have very supportive parents when it comes to streaming, because, well, I did it as a hobby for a long time, and I think that helped when I was like, you know, I think I'm going to quit my job that I got with my college degrees, and I'm going to go play video games. And they were very and supportive. They were like, well... Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they show up in my streams a lot. and That's awesome. Yeah. It's speaking, cool. speaking of supportive, you know what would be super supportive of the community watching right now is another code. Oh. And guess what? We got another one coming up right now, guys. <laughs> that segue. And here it comes. Yeah, do you like that segue? That was, that was pro right there, huh? That just, that just, <laughs> that was so that's good. crucial ballistics. That is the next code for one additional entry. Crucial ballistics. Obviously, we're giving away a couple things there. You can see we're giving away some SSDs, some RAM from them uh, as well. Uh, so very, very cool swag. Thanks to them. So you can take a look at those. While we're at it, since we got some time, let's pull up some other dad jokes. <laughs> Great dad jokes. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can get one that you really enjoy. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, we're going to do one more code because apparently they really want this stream to be over quick because they don't like me. Oh. Uh, no, it's uh, the next code that we're going to be doing is number five, and that is Intel 11900. Oh, okay, sorry, code number three. So code number three is 11900K. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I hope I did that right.
right. OK, uh, so that's code number three is Intel 11900K. So we've now given you four total codes, and that is coming up. OK, what's the difference between the black eyed peas and chickpeas? I don't know. One could sing us a song, the others could only hum us one. <laughs> God, it's, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Okay, um, and then not to brag, but I made six figures last year, but I was named the worst employee at the toy factory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, it, I think it's good. Okay, let me take a look and we'll just verify. We only have to do this you know. three more times. Woo. Okay, there we go. That looks good and it looks like it's all the way screwed in. Okay, go ahead and let's do the next one now. So I've already got it prepped for you. Sweet. Same thing, same kind of deal. I'm just going to make sure the... the uh, the holes are lined up. Guys, if you have new dad jokes, I know some of the, some, a couple of people got to hear those from the stream that I did uh, just last week. But if you have new ones, again, head on over to discord.gg slash robytech and drop some in there. In fact, uh, it, we'd love to see some new ones. There's literally thousands in there, but um, we'll go from there. Okay, so same thing. Right. I'll, I'll hold this for you and start screwing in the next four. Okay. Are you, you, you going to miss that long screwdriver? Do you think maybe we should... You should Get to take it home when you go. Just so you can remember I'm gonna, this moment. <laughs> I'm going to miss it. It's going to keep me up at night. What happened to this? What happened? Is it okay? What's going on? Oh, man. So funny. Every time I've used it, like every stream, I'm always like, when can I get them to use the really long screwdriver? It's just, it's like comically. It's so, it's so. It's, yeah. It is. It's comically long for sure. Well, these are not. They're not the easiest screws for sure. They're not happy. I'm gonna, like start them. Yeah, they're kind of a pain. I don't think that worked. We're gonna try uh, this. Can we move this up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Does that work? Does that help? Not really. Oh. A little bit. A little better? You get in it? Sort of. We'll see. We're gonna see. Maybe. You having fun yet? <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, the most difficult part so far is the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got it in there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull out. We have more screws in here because we got a couple more yeah. screws to get in here. Luckily, Urgh. this is always the part when, like, every time I do, it's like this and cable management, which we haven't done yet. But every time I do those parts, people are like, "And I'm out." <laughs> but an important part of making sure your PC is gonna run beautifully, ladies and gentlemen, is obviously installing screws. Oh yeah, you'd hate for it to fall apart. Yeah, or you want, or you want to make sure you get good cooling, right? Yeah, so that's true. I love these. These are great fans. Still don't know about it. Yeah, I got four more, four more screws for you. Okay. Last, last front fan. All right. Doing good. Cool. You are. You're killing it. This is great. I'm doing Usually it. this is me. <laughs> yeah. But hey, by the time you're done, like the thing is, is like you're gonna be able to look at all and be like, yeah, I did all this. Yeah. Which is cool. Okay, so here we go. Next one. Pop this one in as well. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn this to the side a little bit so I can actually reach it. Apparently my arms aren't that long. I'm like a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> just, can't, just, can't, just can't quite grab them. Okay. And hopefully, did, can you get to those? Yeah, I think, so. well, maybe. Mm, I cannot. Okay, hold on one sec. Let's do, so let's do something to... fast here. I'm gonna see this. Might have made these a we little to too. Yeah, let's loosen them a little bit. Give it a little bit more room. There we go. Sweet. Not much. Yeah, it's only missing by like a little bit. Yeah, you were like, you were like, like it, that's the thing about these is like sometimes it's just some like quick readjustments. This this screwdriver makes this very hard. It does. It, it really, it's really does. It's hard to get it like to the screw. Yeah. Loosen it a little bit. If you, especially if you're like just doing things like one handed. Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> when you're holding the fan and then yeah. I'm pretty sure when they thought about this, they were like, "What can we do to make this way more entertaining? Let's give them oversized <laughs> tools." Here's a hammer, sir. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Now let's see how that lines up. That looks good. Okay, cool. All right. 
Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh good. Woo. We solved the problem. Problem solving live in front of a thousand people. I like it. That's the way it is, guys. Legit. Who's put in all the four codes already, guys? Long live the long screwdriver. Yeah, hard mode initiated. That's right. He was like, we need to make this a challenge. <laughs> so we're going to give them an oversized thing. It's like, yes, you're going to build an entire PC, but we're only going to give you a single razor blade and a hammer. And you're like, wait a minute. That's not going to work. Stolen M.2 with a hammer. Good. People have been putting in the codes. That's awesome. We've solved the problem. That's right. Where do the codes go? Um, call the NSA. They know all the answers. Uh, can we get the NSA's number in chat, guys? Nah. All right. Nope, no, nope, we're good. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we do actually, I've, I've been told that there's actually a shorter screwdriver, but what would be the fun in that? Yeah, I, I'm like committed to this Oh, there, now. yeah, there we go. Oh, it's over there. They, that was not there before. This is all a lie. <laughs> The cake is a lie. They're like, okay, no, they're, they're, onto our, they're onto our plan now. Okay, so we got all those in, but we will need the shorter screwdriver because we're getting ready to install our motherboard. Darn. I know. Well, you can try it. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, so let's put this stuff in here. Slowly going through parts boxes. That's always a good sign we start kind of putting things away. Okay, next up, we're going to actually quickly get your four terabyte uh, hard drive installed. Since we have the cages right here. So here's your four terabyte hard drive. And again, remind us what we're putting on this. <laughs> um, uh, games. Yeah, video the, games. Video games. <laughs> Mad video games. Okay, so the way this is going to work is these actually kind of stretch. So you see there's little holes. I'm just going to do this. Cause this yeah. is just, it's like, not because I'm yeah, just no. like trying to explain it versus just like, there you go. Yeah, you're good. So I'm just going to pop that in. Just like. Uh, come on. Get in there. There it is. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and slide. This one uh, goes right up on top. Actually, we'll put this one down here. Okay. And then you're, just like that, you're going to slide the other one in. <clears throat> and it pops in just like that. So did you watch any E3 coverage at all? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. What, if anything, are you looking forward to playing the most? Well, what, what got you most excited? I feel like the entire internet freaked out for Elden Ring. Oh, yes! Like, are you, it's another... He, like, our camera guy was, like, literally <laughs> pumping. It's another Souls game. It's the sequel. Yeah. So, um, and uh, George, uh, the guy who wrote um, R.R. Martin, the guy who game wrote of Game of Thrones, is basically... Oh, yeah pinned the tail, which means it'll be completely incoherent. No, I'm just kidding. No. Well, was, mm, we don't need to talk about Game of Thrones <laughs> ending, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this down. Uh, anything else that you, that you saw, you were like, yes, I'm super excited about that? I am blanking on anything else that I saw. What about you? Well, Battlefield. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Breath of the Wild 2, which okay. I'm pretty excited about. Halo Infinite. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see, what else was there? There was, uh, oh, uh, Starfield from uh, the guys who did um, Fallout, so Bethesda, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, that looks really good. Um, what I'm doing right now, I'm just checking to make sure it goes. Okay, so what you're going to do, oh boy, yeah, so you're going to grab it from here and just kind of set it in. It kind of goes in right like that. <laughs> Your hand's bigger than mine. If you want me to do it, I can. I just... <laughs> I can't palm that okay. the way you were. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so what you just do is just grab it like this. Okay. I'm just gonna stick it down in here. Just like that, and then you just pop it in. There's a little... Oh, yeah. There it is, okay. That's easy. Now, let's grab the small screwdriver, because the big one's a little awkward for this. They lied. They did. This, was not, here. this was not here before. For... It wasn't awkward for the other stuff, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. Not at all. Let's grab your screws. This is all fun stuff, but let's grab the screws you need. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited about that. I'm really, uh, did you play, have you played much Breath of the Wild? Are you a, are you a Zelda fan or? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Not, not as much as probably a lot of other people. I didn't get to watch much E3 this year, sadly. It, it always lands on my birthday. I see the screwdriver. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my birthday was a week from today, like last oh, wow. Monday. So I tried to keep up, but yeah, I heard the, some of it. I'm also excited about Dying Light 2. I'm just going to make sure. Okay, good. Those are the yeah, right ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you and I talked I about that a little like, prior to stream. There I feel go. like everybody's really excited for Dying Light 2. I just, yeah. 
What about you guys? What about you guys in chat? What, what about uh, folks in chat? What are you guys? What, what did you guys see at E3? Oh, I'm sorry. I should what probably tell I you. Where the, I just, <laughs> what do you mean? What are you I doing? Have, I think I gave you the clearest <laughs> instructions on the planet. I gave you screws and a screwdriver. You dropped a you bunch of screws and just uh, have fun. <laughs> this is going very well. OK, so what you can see, see is you can see these little holes. You're going to screw those in each one of those little holes on the motherboard. So there's going to be three in the top, two here, and then three in the bottom. Okay. And they're marked with like little circles. Okay, so what we got? Forza Horizon 5. That's right, I forgot about that. And Metroid Dread. That looks so good as well. Um, any of the Nintendo stuff. Um, Back for Blood. I saw a bunch of people were excited oh, about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, as well. Back for Blood will be cool. Because it's Left 4 Dead. Do you, now, do you play any games? Like, I'm assuming uh, you play your primary game with the community, but are there other games that you play with the community at all? Uh, or no, you don't really like your community. You're like, no, I don't like to play with them. In fact, don't tell no, them that. That's a no. secret, guys. She doesn't like you. Just kidding. No, she loves no, you guys. No, I love them. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't really get to do any sub games with them yet outside of Dead by Daylight. Okay. But I'm trying to figure out how we do Apex stuff. Yes, yes. But, you know, you only have like three people. Yeah. So. So what you do is you basically find all the ones that are going to carry you. And then you oh, just keep that going through, do? and then yeah, then that way you can become pro. Okay. And then you become a pro player, and then you're done. That, she, that's and then not, you're done. Up, up, at, up, and Adam. That is not true. She really actually does like you. I was just, <laughs> don't don't take that for real. The last thing we want is like something I could talk to, where it's like they Streamer had a crazy stream and she didn't even like her own. Community. That's not true. That would if be. You're watching boop. this right now, uh, Brian Crescente or Steven Totillo. That is not true. No more fake news. <laughs> Her, her rank secrets are linked. That's right. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny right there. No, she's she's. Uh, I've, I've actually learned a lot. Uh, so so tell me the other thing too is I think it's, there's also an interesting story. You actually went to school like you. I this did. was not your plan. No, oh God, no. no like in the end, you no, were like. No, like I've always been a gamer. I've been gaming since I was like. I don't know, six or seven years old. Okay. My my dad's always been a huge gamer, so I got to play. Um, I was in a gaming clan with him when I was. Like seven, <laughs> and we played wow. like a lot of Rainbow Six. I don't remember which one it Yo, was. No, but, but the one where you actually used to have to like tactically play. Yeah. Oh, that game was awesome. Yeah, yeah Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Yeah, yeah. So I used to play that stuff with him in the gaming clan, and then it just kind of like gaming was always my biggest hobby. Right. But right. I actually didn't tell anybody I was a gamer until I was like in college. Do you, do you, can you think of why you didn't tell people you were a gamer? Just because do you think it had like a stigma or? Well, it, well I mean. I'm just curious. I mean, a little bit. It was, you know, I didn't want the attention from okay. it. I didn't, because I had a lot of issues with like playing competitive games and then people would just find out that you're a girl and then trash talk. And it was oh. like, I just don't want to deal with that. So I didn't. Yeah. And then, um. I think you got one more in the top corner yeah, up here. If you, uh, I can, actually, what you can do is I can rotate it. Hopefully, it'll <laughs> let you see that. You see it a little bit better if I do that. But yeah. Um, it goes right there. There it is. So yeah, I didn't really let anybody know I was a gamer until probably college. And I didn't even find out about Twitch until my senior year of college. Okay. Um, like, I worked at GameStop. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I got two college degrees and did like you know, the standard, like, real-world job or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I started streaming as a hobby, and I've been doing it, what, full-time for four years now? So you got this one, this Did one, this one. one. There we go, that one, that one. Okay, looks like you have them all. Yeah, I want to make sure they're, they're tight. actually in there. You don't want to over-tighten them, but you want to just, yeah, just yeah, tighten yeah. up is great. Grab these from you. Perfect. So yeah, you've been doing it, and you've been doing it full time for four years. Yeah, which, I mean, that's I, so, like that's actually that's actually a legit hard thing to do. I know there's a lot of people who are streamers, so to do it full time. Yeah, because I've been streaming for six years now, but full time for four. Yeah, that's so. incredible, awesome. Yeah. Now, what other games did you? So you played Rainbow Six with your dad. What other games would you, did you play when you were growing up? Oh gosh, I was obsessed with Halo. We would always play Halo. Oh wow, okay. Like, like, it would be, like, one of those, like, don't tell mom, but that I would, like, stay up late, and we would play Halo until, like, 5 in the morning. Okay. That whole thing. A um, lot, of, lot of Call of Duty as well. Okay. Okay. So, COD? Yeah, I played, like, almost exclusively shooters. Okay. And I, like, never stream shooters. It's the weirdest thing. Now so you're, like, I'm hoping finally getting into it, but I was, I was nervous to do that. Well, I can understand that. The internet can be kind of harsh, and... Oh, I know. I mean, they watch me play games all the time, and they're like, that is, you are terrible. 
Yeah. That's the thing is I can't trash talk anybody because everybody's better than me. So the only thing is like I can trash talk like the AI sometimes, but even they're better than me most of the time. <laughs> so. Okay, next up, so we got your PC in. Wow. Now what we're gonna do is put our AIO together. I almost felt like I'd put that off the edge of the table. Yeah, I will. <laughs> but hey, hey, <laughs> who needs that? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is pull this stuff out. We'll need this and this. So this is your radiator and this is your cooler. This is basically what's going to cool your CPU. Wow. Do you have one? Do you have an AIO, or do you remember if you're air cooled, or is it AIO cooled on your your current PC? Do you remember? <laughs> is it like, does it have like a big fan it's on it? It's got a very big fan. Okay, so it's air cooled. Okay, cool. That's and that's what I was kind of expecting. I mean, yeah. I think AIOs have kind of come like they they were they started to get really popular at one point in time, and then they kind of uh, it, they're now getting to the point where they're pretty mainstream. Most people have a tendency to do them. Uh, air coolers used to cool just way better. Um, but that has actually gotten a little bit better in the, in the recent years. Okay, so we have all that. Let's put this aside. There we go. So what we're going to do, let's just make sure I'm going to verify our placement. I'm going to be sticking that right in the middle. Where's the fans? Okay. It's going to go right. In. Okay, next code, guys. Getting up for the next code giveaway. Getting ready to pop that up on the screen here in just a second. And it should be coming up here any moment. There it is. Horror games. Wow. Whoa. Yes. Oh, Horror shocking. games. That makes a lot of sense. I like scary stuff. Yeah, you do. And yeah, so I was I was that kid that had like a horror like DVD collection growing up. I like I like I like uh, I like romantic comedies. So you and I are not <laughs> like my, I'm like I'm like That's the opposite. Nice. I'm like That's the opposite. Amazing. Yeah, like all I like I watch like High School Musical, The Musical, and all those things. And like meanwhile, you're over oh, there watching. Yeah, like, I'm watching like Saw. Saw. So it's like the exact opposite. <laughs> hey, it's great. I'm telling dad jokes. You're over there like, hey, how was how was Hostel? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, and uh, what we're going to pull out now is we're going to pull, we're going to basically install all this stuff now. So what we're going to do is there's these little, if I get them right, there's little, these little screws. Okay. They're going to go one with a little, with a little washer mm -hmm. in each corner. Okay. And then so, and there's little holes underneath. Yeah. So it's just kind of start it to make sure it goes in and then, yeah. then tighten it down. And Actually, the best thing to do is to do one in each corner first. So that way they'll be lined up versus just doing all four. Does that make sense? Oh, so not where I started. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, do one here and here, and then one oh, here and here. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, so oh. just kind of, yeah. So just, well, you know, okay. You no, know, right where you started was perfect. <sighs> just like that. So, what's your favorite horror series then? Saw. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never seen any of them. They're. Uh... What is it about them that you, that you find so fascinating? Well. So I went to school for psychology. Oh, okay. So I actually like the psychology behind them. Okay. I, so if you haven't seen them. No, they're um, scary. It, well, yeah. I don't like scary <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, like this conversation's going really well. <laughs> it's great. Um, it, basically, just... the guy will find people who are doing bad things in their lives, like okay. to other people, and then he... <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to explain it without sounding like a crazy. <laughs> um, so he basically will make them do some really difficult task to see how much they value their life. Okay. And like, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty dark. It's very dark, yeah. <laughs> but they do always get out. Well, no, okay. They don't. Do you really think ever they'll ever out, have like, could. do you think they'll ever be like a saw slash my little pony crossover that probably I might be into? Not, oh. <laughs> probably not. No rom coms in here. Maybe, maybe saw plus high school musical, the musical, <laughs> the series. Like I think, I feel like that is going to be, that's going to be the best one, right? Like on Disney plus, like you guys wait, it'll be the best one and it'll be great. Like instead of blood, it's like confetti. <laughs> Be cute. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Saw the musical. There, that yeah. is it right there. Saw the musical. Like Everybody's that. in there. Yeah. I think people are ready. I feel like um, it probably for that. exists. And I think Zac Efron is ready to branch out a little bit. <laughs> like, no, no offense, guys, but I think this is. I think we're on to something, and it's gonna. You guys can just blame Mod Monday when that comes out. Um, I think people are excited. Okay. So, uh, so you like Saw? What about your favorite horror game? <laughs> um. Oh goodness. 
I've played a lot of horror games. Like, so I actually, really? I actually do play. I actually do enjoy <gasps> horror games. Well, then I'm curious what your favorite horror game is. Well, I asked you first. That's not well, fair. Well, I'm blanking on. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm blanking. Okay. So I loved. I think my favorite is is um. It was a game called Crimson Butterfly. Uh, it was came out in Japan, and basically what you did is you were in a. Uh, there were these two twins okay. who got lost in a Japanese village. Ooh, okay. and you had to go use a camera to go uh, to basically go capture um, ghosts and, and souls and stuff like that. So that was that was one I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the first Resident Evil. Um, Ooh, I okay. love Silent Hill. That was another one that I really enjoyed. Good. Um, and then um, I also like Cyberpunk 2070. No, never mind. That was just that was just really <laughs> that, broken. Was just that wasn't scary. <laughs> Well, okay, so <laughs> you're a fan of Silent Hill. You've never played Dead by Daylight. Fatal Frame, yeah. That, 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 that Fatal Frame was the yeah, Crimson Butterfly, but the English name was called Fatal Frame. Um, so, sorry, say that one more time. So, you said you're a fan of Silent Hill. Yeah, I did. You've I, never played Dead by Daylight, right? I've never played Dead I've seen a lot of streamers play it, um, but I, I kept looking on Twitch for Death by Daylight, and that may be that why I never was like, I was like, this issue. game, I saw this game, and it was, well, oh, I, Parasite Eve was another great one. Yes, I played that one, too. Well, I was curious, because because Dead by Daylight has like those iconic mm -hmm. horror people, like Pyramid Head is in it. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's why. Anyway, um, yeah, one of my favorite horror games is called Outlast. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you're in an insane asylum and you're running away from everyone. Oh yes, yes. I, I have, I have. We, um, we actually had. Uh, we used to do these charity streams, and we used to make a guy named oh. Josh Stein play them when in VR. Oh and no! And he was like shaking. No. So yeah, it was like legitimately. Yeah, that game is. That game is actually pretty scary. Yeah. Um, there was another game. I'm trying to remember the name of it. No, maybe uh, chat. Maybe you can help me out here. Um, you were. Um, you, one of them was like you went into a prison, and it was only. It was probably one of the most visceral. Like you could only use like um, like pipes. Um, and stuff. It was on Sega. It was made by Sega. And uh, yeah, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> that's really, I've really given you a ton of information. Ma not Manhunt. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, uh, it's not Manhunt. Uh, but, oh, Eternal Darkness. That game was great. Have you ever played Eternal actually, Darkness? No, I haven't. You do need to play an Alan Wake, another great one. I actually mm -hmm. worked on Alan Wake. That was actually oh, really? one of my games. Yeah. Um, so uh, Alan Wake is another really, really great one. Um, yeah, that, Alan Wake was yeah, fantastic. There's a bunch of really good ones. So yeah, but there hasn't. There's not a bunch of new ones coming no, out. No, that's the problem. So we were with talking that a little genre. bit about that. Yeah. They don't come out with new stuff very often. Oh. And if they do, you don't know what you're getting. Okay, so this part, just to keep keep you from having to Henry Cavill this, uh, let me grab some. What do you mean? So Henry Cavill, when he put his... No, no, not that. I wasn't actually... I've gotten sorry, muscles. Sorry, I wasn't saying... Okay. So Henry Cavill has more muscles than all of us. I know. But the problem was, is it took him like 18 hours to install his AIO. Like, oh, if you really? watch this thing, yeah. So this is like... That's when I say Henry Cavill, oh, this, it means... I thought you meant just, I was going to have to like just... No, no. It was more It was more in terms of not taking forever. Uh, zip ties. Let me grab some zip ties. I'm pretty sure we have some around here somewhere. Do we have any... Oh, we have long ones. Uh, these will be really long, but these will work just for temporarily, and hopefully we'll get some small ones here in a minute. Um, we're going to use all long stuff and all these things, guys. Let me grab a couple little zip ties here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cable manage this okay. in a simple way. So what we do is we zip tie these together, like so, with the world's longest cable, tie, cable zip ties. These are in saw, I'm pretty sure. They go with the screwdriver. <laughs> Yes, they do. They go with the screwdriver. Oh, okay, one more really long zip tie. I feel like we've got overkill here, but like, should should we need a, should we need riot gear? We're covered, but I'm doing for doing these <laughs> for PCs. things for PCs. This is a little much. These are great for PSUs, actually. Okay, so we got those. So basically, this is just going to make it a little easier for us to route the cables. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a trick on how to do this. It's a little hard to explain, okay. but what we're going to do is I'm gonna take all this right here, and I'm gonna route it right up here. So I'm gonna put this like that. And we basically route this stuff, that hole right here, actually. And then I'm gonna take you, have you, I just cut this again. So this one little cable right here, mm -hmm. as I'm gonna basically, there's a little, See where it says CPU fan? Yes. So I'm going to lift this up like so. <clears throat> mm. And you're going to plug where it says CPU fan, that little, that, that little thing right into where it says CPU fan right here. It's a little four pin. 
Makes it only sense. has three. It's, yeah, you just want to put it over the little plastic bit. Do you see the little plastic bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like that. I'm trying to have you hook up as most of the stuff as I can. There you go. Just like that. Does it make push a it. click or? It just pushes all the way in. Yeah, you're in. You're in. You're, in. you're good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the power cable. You see that? Can you grab the other long cable there? This one? Yep. And you're going to run that through the exact same hole I have right here. See where my finger is? Yes. I'll grab it from you. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna have you help me. I'm gonna hold. Hold this right here. Like so. Actually, I'm gonna hold it and you're just gonna put in the screws once I get it lined up. Why is this not? There you go. Push it all the way there. Okay, so if you want to take a screw and a washer, and a screw and a washer, and then a screwdriver, and put a screw, uh, put one here and then one over there. Um, no, don't, yeah, they're just right there. See. there. There you go. So, oh, this is where our, our heights, our genetic heights yeah, help Yeah, I'm us like, so oh my God. <laughs> okay. okay, there's that one. And then there's one right over here on the other side. Uh, washer, okay. Where? Right here. I cannot see. Right there. <laughs> if you put it on the screwdriver, I can actually do it. I literally cannot it's see. It's all good. Well, there's that. Okay. Right, let me see. <laughs> Perfect. I'm doing this is going so I'm well. Short. I'm not, though. This table is just tall. Yeah. It, is, it is actually, the thing is, they, they used to be, the table used to be much shorter. Oh. But um, it was hard to work on that way. So yeah. Just gonna make sure sense. all of our stuff is okay. All of our stuff is good, and then we're just so now we've got it in, and I'm just gonna finish pulling all the stuff up. Cool. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can push it a little bit more over. I might do that. It's just being wacky. Hold on. Wacky. Okay, code six is coming up, guys. Getting ready to do code six. Mm. And code six is coming. Y'all got a step. We don't need a step letter, guys. We're okay. Oh, code six there is going is. to be. <laughs> That's great. Is going to be Dead by Daylight. That's the right name. It is the right name. I would have yeah. never gotten that right. Trying to see if I can, I guess that we're not gonna be able to push this all the way right. So I was hoping we could, but it's just not, it's hitting that one little bit there. It doesn't well. like you. Yeah, it's actually, they actually have the support for a 280, but um, it's not, I'm not worried about it. Here we go. Okay, so we'll just finish doing this and then we'll be good to go. It's easy, not a big deal. And we'll finish screwing up. Once we get the pump mat done, we'll put on the rest of the screws here. And now you can see why I said we don't want to Henry Cavill this. Because you, yeah. you could literally be doing this forever. Okay. Almost done, guys. <laughs> Just got to get the first kind of two screws in so it holds it down. And then it's a whole lot easier. <clears throat> and so, uh, with, uh, and then you talked about, you have actually have played a little Dying Light, but it actually gets you motion sick, you said? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Are there any other games that you find that get you motion sick? Well, yeah, VR is actually really tough. Oh, yeah. VR, like, I have VR, and I really like it. Um, like, I'll, I'll play the game Beat Saber, if you've heard of it. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. the rhythm game with the, yeah. Yeah, the lightsabers and stuff. I love that. Um, but pretty much any game where you're actually moving in VR, my brain just doesn't get doesn't it. Doesn't deal with it. So... I've had, like, people have suggested I play, like, the uh, Resident Evil Biohazard on oh. VR, but, like, I, there's no way. It's not the scary thing. It's just the, like, It's just the motion, motion stuff. Thing. Yeah. Okay, so we, given where this is, we're going we're gonna to do one little change in addition real quick. Okay. And then we'll, we'll finish this. We're just, because of where the ca this is blocking what's called the EPS ca power cable, we're going to install this first. That way it's just kind of done. These are your mm, custom cables here. Nice. We're going to grab the one for that, which is this four pin. I like this black and red theme. Isn't that nice? That's yeah. really nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the cable we need. 
we're going to put on our cable comb. I think our cable comb, if I can see this, yes, it's going to go like this. So we're going to put one cable comb on. I'll let you do this. Okay. I prep this for that. Okay. So the way these work, and we're going to put a lot more of these on later on, you're just going to clip, basically clip that right like that on top of it. So the little cable is just literally yeah, flat okay. inside of it, just like that. And I'm really wishing I could push this forward, but it's just not going to. It's just a little bit too wide. It's just stuck on that thing, huh? Okay. Uh -huh. Did you get it? I did. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. I'm just going to pop this down real quick. Pop this one. <clears throat> okay, and then get that. I'm gonna see if I can just get this. To, there we go. Let me just do this. Then I won't have to do that anymore. Oh, that'll work. I just gotta get this one in. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come in. It's gonna go. It's happening. It's not happening. This is not happening at all. It's gonna happen, but then we'll go in there. <clears throat> So how did you find out, how, I'm just curious more than anything, mm -hmm. how did you find out you were into horror games? Like, was it like one of those things that like, do you remember the first one you ever played or? Actually, um, I think Outlast might have been the wow, first really? one that I played. That yeah. was like a legit one to start with. Yeah, well, obviously I got addicted after that. Well, yeah. I mean, you start with that one and yeah, I remember Everything I. Everything else kind of seems, it's like, that's like the, that's like the, that's like the demon souls of, of, of scary games right there in terms of. Yeah. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just start it off with, uh, <laughs> off, off real. Yeah, I mean, I remember, I think I was still living at home at that point, and okay. my, I made my mom watch some of it. Oh, wow. What she did she think? She's not a fan of horror. <laughs> um, yeah. When you play horror games, do you play them like in the dark, like legit, like set it up or is it, or do you play them well, like I do where like yeah. there's like unicorns everywhere and like, you know, all the lights, all are, the lights on. are on and it's like the middle of the morning and like, it doesn't feel scary at all. Cause it's a, okay. So I moved it over. So actually what you can do is um, we actually have, I did find out we actually have a, a Halloween comic from Intel oh. um, that I don't know. They 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 want to share with us. So we're going to show that off right here. You're going to get to see it here here in a second. The game. This game came up on my recommended list. Recommended <laughs> for. <laughs> yeah, those games don't come up on my recommended. Okay, here we go. They do on mine. It was free to play, and I was in the mood to be spooked, so I downloaded it. I'm. It was what you from a free game, low res graphics, and cheap jump scares. Okay, this is like their Halloween one. That's cute. That's cute. It's cute. That the chip, but the <laughs> okay. That, that's a little less cute, but still, <laughs> still kind of cute. Still, yeah, I like the name. That that is not a good jump scare. So basically, what they're saying is they 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 essentially shipped serial killers to everybody's house who bought the game. That seems like a terrible free to game. Yeah, I don't think I would enjoy that as much <laughs> as people might think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to hand this to you. Now there's a little right here. You're going to plug that in right into this four pin right there. Do you see it? And it goes the other way. Flip oh, it over. Yeah. There you go. Just like that. And then you're going to route the cable right to where my little finger is right there. Once you get all that plugged in. I'm trying. Hello? Did it go? I don't know. I can't see. Let me see. Yep. That's in. Okay. Okay. We're just going to run this cable right here. There we go. Okay, so now we're good there. Right. Now what we can do, because I was, I was actually able to move all of the screws over, we can go ahead and have you I'm gonna put that down like that, and I'm going to lean this forward, and you can finish screwing in all the holes here, and then we'll, we'll get the pump installed here in a second. Okay. But there, I'm helping, I'm helping with, my, with you and I's <laughs> vertically like... challenged thing from there. Okay. Um, and so, and then you played a lot of FPS games, but when you, when you started stream, when you kicked off your streaming career, mm -hmm. did you start it with, <laughs> you didn't start I with scary I started it with scary games. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, well, okay, the first game I ever played on stream was Diablo 3, but... Great game. It, it is a good game, but it doesn't stream as well as you might think. Okay. Uh, it's like, it's, you have to have a very specific type of viewer to okay. want to be able to watch that. Um, 
I started streaming horror games when they came out. Like they're they're because I still worked at GameStop at the time. Okay. So I was able to like. I'm not sure if they, you know, would be cool with me saying this, but I was able to, like, check out the games, take them home and stream them and I then think, bring I them th back. I think you can. I, I, think that's yeah. one, I think that's one of the perks. Did you ever play, uh, what was that PlayStation one? Um, they, uh, the, 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 they had a series that came out on Xbox afterwards the, uh, with uh, the guy who was in Quantum Break. Um, but um, it was, like, these teenagers. It was, like, basically, like, these teenagers all go to this cabin. Oh, um, um. Oh, why am I blanking? I know, that's until I'm, dawn. Yeah, until dawn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. I played that. That's and then they had the like the Medan, like the yeah, yeah. Man of Medan yeah, came the, out. Yeah, those. And... Did you like those? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I played until I... dawn live on stream at night. Oh, so did you like how literally every single thing that you do affects everyone? Yeah, and, and every only I think only two people lived. Yeah, I pretty much that just killed. About it. Right. I pretty much just killed everybody accidentally. Yep. Um, but it was uh, it was uh, it was. Uh, it was one of those games that I like. I really had, and I think my community has actually been asking me to do another one of those. Like, you it was should. an all night stream. Well, it wasn't all night. Like, it, I think we got done at like three in the morning, started, and then did the whole thing. Yeah. But I wanted to do it with the with the Madan one or whatever it was. I thought that'd yeah. be kind of cool. The um, well, they came out with another one too, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, of they've it. they've actually, and it's I, I really like that studio because they're they're really great stories. With yeah, that, um, so. it was called Little Hope. That was the new one. Oh, okay. Was it pretty good? Yeah, I actually played it with my buddy. Because you can play those with a friend. My buddy, the one that the 1980s stuffed toy that was like Teddy Ruxpin. That no. my buddy? No. <laughs> no. My <one> buddy. <laughs> my buddy. One of my streamer friends and I played it together. Yeah. And um, it was kind of fun listening to like this just massive behemoth of a man screaming like a little girl in my mic. It was great. Everybody's like, you're showing your age, Roby. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm actually called a Zenial kid. Yeah, that's oh, right. Are you? Yeah, it's kid. Yeah, we're basically on the on the cusp there in terms of where our ages are. But um, kid sister and my buddy. Yeah, those were like way back in the day. Um, one of those like big toys. <clears throat> but yeah, um, yeah, it is pretty funny to watch. Like uh, I did, I definitely had some. I definitely had some like full on like screams. Yeah. During that during well, that people, show. People people love watching streamers play horror games because they don't actually have to be in the driver's seat. The streamer's in the driver's seat, so they get to like watch a horror movie. But you're in the game. Yes, that is true. That is true, and it, it definitely it definitely does get like legit. Oh man, people just they love it. I, I have one one of the funniest ones I ever did. Um, what was it playing? It was there was like it was, they, she played a game. I, I got to remember the name. It was my sister. I thought she like one of the oldest videos on my YouTube channel um, with her playing, and then we were also scaring her while she was playing oh, a no. scary game. And uh, yeah, she it was not. It was definitely not an. Uh, there, there was definitely some choice words used <laughs> during that uh -huh. stream because uh, we go from there. So it was just, it was it was really fun. Just trying to double check. Those okay. To make sure they're good. They look like they're good. But I think they're good. I think they're good. Okay, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take a break right now. We're uh, we're coming up about a little over halfway done through the build, um, which is great. So it's in really good shape right now. Um, so then we're gonna come back. Uh, let's say we're gonna give it. We're gonna be off for about two two and a half hours. Just kidding. About five <laughs> minutes, uh, and then we will be back. Anyway, guys, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Comber and the team here a little bit beforehand. This is just like one of those just solid quality builds. It's not too overkill. It's just it's just mm -hmm. right. It's like it's like it's the that Goldilocks. Yeah, exactly. PC. Perfect. It's a Goldilocks PC. The 3070 is just really great in terms of as a value card for 1440p. It's great for streaming and gaming. Um, and with the Intel CPUs just coming down in price, they're just a nice value to basically be able to put stuff in there. So throwing in 11900K for 580 bucks, you know, is actually a really good deal. Um, so that's 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 kind of a, a rewind or where we are from the system uh, right now, and we're just kind of getting everything put in. And then again. This is, I mean, though you have been a part of PC building, this is your first like full, yeah, like, full blown. I actually did it. And I just gotta say, killing it right now. Killing it right now. Yes. I mean, wish you knew more dad jokes, but well, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll potentially get you, we, we can, we can, we <laughs> can educate like, on that stuff. convert me. <laughs> going from there. Okay, so let's go and get this laid down. We're gonna have you install your cooler. No. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna do right here. So I'm gonna remove this, and you, what you're gonna do, so you got four little attachments right there. And so this is thermal paste. Mm -hmm. What this does is this just makes sure there's a super solid contact between the yeah. IHS, which is, this is the uh, integrated heat spreader, yeah. and then the cooling plate. 
Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to stick this on like this. And if you want to take those little screws and start screwing them onto the little posts, you can start them with your hands and then go from there. Perfect. Nice. And they just kind of go around. So what do you, when you, when you, when you went to, when you were adulting the first time as a, as, and you went to school and all yeah. that sort of stuff, what did you want to do when you grew up? Like when you said, oh, hey, gosh. little, little, little cauliflower coming <laughs> out, you know, you were in kindergarten, you know, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, who is your dad? No, never. What do you want to do? <laughs> that, that one or whatever. Well, the, the funny thing. Oh, you just kind of push it down. Push it down. The funny thing is my entire life, I said, I wanted to work in the gaming industry. Okay. And then I went to school for psychology and communications. Which is a great, actually great which gaming Which is degree. really helpful for so many things. Yeah. Like, especially in the gaming world that I didn't even realize at the time. Um, but yeah, I was never really going to find the gaming industry where I'm from, which is Ohio. Okay. Um, and actually do this side. This Sorry. Side? You're going okay. gonna to want to go into star pattern now. Okay. Ah. You can actually move the tubes. There you go. Yeah, you, you let me know. Oh, no, I did. I did. I, don't worry. I will interrupt you to keep your you PC from working. You let me know if I'm, I'm going to break something. Okay, there you go. And then just go, then you go to the opposite sides. There you go. Just like that. And then we'll just make sure they're all solid after that. Okay. So, yeah, you weren't going to find, there wasn't a lot of game development houses no, in, there, in Ohio. there really wasn't. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I went to college. I got a degree in communications and okay. a degree in psychology. And then I went into human resources right out of college for a Fortune 500 company. Okay. And then I went into accounting after that because I had no idea what I wanted to do. And then I found streaming. Um, well, streaming became like, uh, it could support me yep. at that point. And I was like, well, this, this feels would, like it's going to yeah, work. This would be my end to the gaming industry. Hey, so let's try it. Have you ever tried to psychoanalyze your like people in your community? Because I think that would be an interesting stream. Like, hello, <laughs> Colin. Welcome to Cauliflower. Uh, Cauliflower is uh, like, you know, like, so they like pretend like there's a virtual couch and they tell you like. Oh, they already do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they already do that. Oh, my goodness. The things people tell streamers. <laughs> Uh, but I think, yeah, it, it kind of comes in, in handy sometimes having those. All right, I want, can you People are saying, like, you should be, like, cauliflower Dr. Phil. Oh, God. <laughs> you double check those. Okay, yeah, I'll check all I those and make sure everything's good there. But it looks like we, we should be good. I didn't do anything crazy. No, it's just making sure that they're in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this cable up. Oh, okay. Kind of cable manage it real quick, and then... Then comes the fun part. We're going to put, have you put in one more fan, the last fan of the build. Okay. And then, well, then I get to hook, start hooking up all the cables, hooking all this stuff up for real. Okay, so now we're just going to pull this up. I want to make sure your PC looks good. Grab this. I'm like blind grabbing it. There it is. Okay. So, I'm going to pull this around the side here. And then I'm going to pull it down and zip tie it. So I'm going to grab this back here. I'm going to do a quick zip tie. They actually gave me regular size zip ties now. Oh, they're there. <laughs> they're like, that's enough of your little shenanigans, Roby, with your small, with your super long zip ties. So got more regular size zip ties now. Nice. Man, that dragon looks so cool in there. Yeah, the carbon? Yeah. Like, well, you know, like I'm super into dragons because, well, yeah, you're my isn't your community is called it? that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have a dragon army, so like you see all the dragon emotes that are popping up in chat. I just thought you guys were really big. No, I'm just kidding. Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> well, I mean, I was a very big Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply kind of make this cable look like a single cable. It's like the big goal here. It just looks nice and clean for you. This is just part of making it look like. You can look pretty. Because pretty PCs are happy PCs. Kind of my, my mantra here. <clears throat> Do we have, that's where they gave me another set of, nope, nope. Yep, these are, these are the shortest ones we have, okay. And this is where you gotta, so I can get this one down here. I may not actually need to do that. That's actually going to be okay. I don't need to zip tie that. Okay, cool. You are good. So this is your, outside of this, I think next up, we're going to have you install 
one more fan, and I've already got it kind of out for you. Okay. I'm going to flip this around. This is your exhaust fan. So I'm just going to cut this cable for you. And so we'll bring that up and go from there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to have you screw that in right there. Let me get you a key, uh, let me get you a screw for it. And then I think after that we probably need to do another dad joke <laughs> just to keep things keep things flowing here. First, I got to find your other screws here. Just gotta find the last screw here. Did your dad ever tell you dad jokes back when you were like, do you remember him telling dad I, jokes? I really don't remember any crazy dad jokes. My community is where I mostly hear them. Hear them. But you don't know any off the top of your head. Not you off the top of my head, no. Okay. They're they're just obsessed with dad jokes and puns and. Well, and those those are great things to be obsessed yeah. with. Yeah, so. and anytime they can get me to read them is great. So you just want to kind of keep it towards the middle there. Okay. I'll let you install it, and I'm going to pull a dad joke while you're going from there. So this way. Yeah, just like that, and then yeah, it's just going to see, see how yeah, just yeah, just getting yeah. you can get the screw started, just uh, tighten it all the way down, and then you mm -hmm. can we can move it afterwards. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Here we go. Let me see if I can do it. <clears throat> um, okay, here we go. I named my two dogs Rolex and Timex. They're my watchdogs. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. All right. <laughs> um, okay. How do you get a country girl's attention? Hmm, a tractor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that one's good. I like that. I like that one, one a lot. I like that. Okay, I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. <laughs> and then this is the last one. This is from, and by the way, huge shout out to uh, Eternal Rage, um, who put a couple, who put most of those up there. And then this one is from TD Kid. I'm afraid for the calendar, its days are numbered. I've heard that <laughs> one, yeah. So anyway, again, guys, looking for more dad jokes, but uh, there's a bunch of really good ones up there. Thank you very much for those. Speaking of that, we got another code. We got another code coming up, and the code for this one is dad joke, uh, which you know seems you know that's all in all like he's actually like our 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 our, our crew's getting way into this. Um, dad jokes are pretty much the <laughs> cornerstone of Mod Mondays. In fact, um, they are going to be a huge part of every Intel. I'm hoping that every Intel CPU actually ships with a dad joke on the inside of the IHS. <laughs> I think that like if we if we can get that to happen, ladies and gentlemen, okay. then I know we've made it, which would be the greatest. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and. Yeah, I cannot get this one in there. I want to oh, do this. There you go. I got it now. <laughs> yeah, you got it all in. And then yeah. these are kind of like the wacky ones. Yeah. Feel free. And we basically get them in. So when do you think about when you think about kind of where you want to go as a streamer? Oh gosh. Oh, this is the this is oh, the future gosh. question. We're like sitting down, like we're straight up Oprah we right are. now. We are. Okay. I what feel is like. <laughs> I should be in a like <laughs> a couch. <laughs> you should be on a couch. We're bringing it down. What's a, what? Where do you where do you where do you want to see yourself in you know four or five years? What would you what, like? You think you'll be like just like just playing FPSs, or is there some other things that you'd like to do? Like what Honestly, would you? Honestly, ideally, I want to be a full blown variety variety creator. Okay, I think that's kind of the dream. Is you get to. Play anything that comes out, anything that you want, and have like a guaranteed, you know, decent viewer base with that. I think everybody That'd wants that. That'd be huge, that. right? Yeah. And then what, like, when you, and that's kind of your thing is like, you would really like it. And that's one of the things that probably just uh, attracts you to variety is just the fact that you get to play so many different things, right? Well, yeah, because you know, playing the same game over and over and over, it's, it's great for viewership, sure, but it gets a little stale. Okay. Um, so, like, I still enjoy the games that I play. Like, I still enjoy playing Dead by Daylight from time to time, but I can't do it. I mean, I've got 5,000 hours in the game. I can't play it every single day the way I used to. And I've seen some of that, like, even from some of my favorite streamers, right, who, um, like, ones who've played, like, World of Warcraft and mm -hmm. all those ones who just, like, who, like, there's a point when they need to kind of step away and do something a little bit different, right? Yeah. And, and that even, becomes important. Even if it's just, like, a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, 
And what, what's that? What like this for uh, Dead by Daylight? Do they do they have like pretty regular content releases and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, they come out with new stuff every three months. Okay. So like that helps keep it fresh at least a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be less of Cauliflower, the Dead by Daylight streamer, and more of just Cauliflower, Variety the and... streamer. Okay. Um, so that's why you know started playing Apex in January, and I try to get like. All the new releases that I can. Okay. And you try to play in going from there? Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, Resident Evil Village, I know we've brought up. That was super fun because I got to stream that early. Oh, wow. I okay. I usually get to stream like any horror release You, you have early. a tendency to get early? Yeah. Well, um, that, that would be super cool. Yeah, so that stuff's very fun. And I get to do the cosplay with it, which is cool. So um, the the fine folks here have actually uh, here in the in the studio have actually put together a resident well have pulled a Resident Evil comic for you. Oh. Just knowing that you're a Resident Evil fan, so we're going to show that here on the channel right now. Oh gosh. A little Resident Evil, little, little Resident Evil hit humor for you guys while we're pulling things together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. They actually put this on my PC over there that I've been hanging out with at the studio. Aww. People are laughing. I, I have played no Resident Evil, so I don't know actually at all what <laughs> any of this means. She's just... I'm assuming it's hilarious. She's one of the uh, villains in Village. So right. You, you know, she's one of the, I guess, monsters you go up against is what you would call it. Um, and the internet absolutely fell in love with her. And she wasn't really supposed to be a fall in love with kind of character. No, I don't think they really saw that coming. Oh, I see what you're saying. So that's kind of what everything, yeah, so I get what it is. Yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of Resident Evil, just so people know, we're going to bring up our next code. And our next code is actually Resident Evil, given that it's one of the games that you really like. And yeah. one of these, some of these codes are always attached to unique things about the streamers we have here on the show. Again, we have some really awesome stuff. Like right there, you're seeing the Crucial X6 500 gig portable SSD. I actually have one of those. I absolutely love it. As well as RAM. We're giving away CPUs like the L11600K, which is a beast of a CPU for such a good, for such a good uh, price point. And then those really cool Pride, um, those really cool Pride um, uh, kits right there. We're giving 15 of those swag kits away, um, which is also pretty huge. And, and again, one of the things that people don't know, well, may, may not recognize, is that this is actually part of celebrating Pride. And you actually had a moment I did. that happened not that long ago that you actually had a big Pride moment as well, which is one of the reasons yeah. you're here on the show. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I can... I, <laughs> That's not like, I don't know how much there's really yeah, to there's talk about it. There's not much to say, but, but all in all, like, still yeah, something. Yeah, um, I, you know, since we went into Pride Month, I figured... Why not just, I took some pictures with uh, the bisexual flag and I like made this big post like, hey everybody, I'm coming out, I'm bisexual. And it was just like, I have such a cool community and they're so open-minded and just right. accepting of literally everything. I didn't even have a, like a moment of doubt with them that I knew they were gonna be super, super supportive and awesome and they were. And um, yeah, the, I don't know, just like the, the feedback it was great. It was just amazing. Well, cool. And I think that's an awesome thing for an opportunity to have, have you here on the show and just being a part of that as yeah. we kind of go through that stuff, which I thought was, which is, I thought was pretty neat. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to have you, this has nothing to do with pride at all. This is just hooking stuff up. <laughs> um, going from there, we're going to go ahead and hook up all of your RGB. So this is all the stuff that's going to make everything. And it just made me think of rainbow and then yeah. of course the <laughs> RGB. Um, so first thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to take this connection. You see, there's a little white line. You're going to connect that right up there. And that's like, basically this is for your pump. Ooh, nice. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Now there's all of these and they're going to be separate. So we're going to find, kind of separate these out. Um, we're going to take this one right here. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go into one. Yep, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to find another one of these right here. And that one's going to go into two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to find another one. Those are not them. There should be one. Oh, there it is. I'm holding, literally holding onto it. This is your other third fan. So you're going to grab that. It's going to go into three. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to take these three. First thing we're going to do is going to take this one. And this is going to go on the other side, and that's going to go into one right over here. 
what we're doing is you're just plugging all of your RGB into the Capellic hub, so that way it's really easy for your stuff to control. And then this is going to go into two and three. Oh. Oops, sorry about that. There you go. And that one's going to go into three. Okay, now we're going to take your front fans. They're all over here. Same thing. Separate the RGB and then the fans out. Takes a little bit of, takes a little bit of, it's like I kind of feel like sometimes I'm doing like cross stitch, which are like slowly <laughs> untangling things. Okay, so these are going to go into four, five, and six. And we don't, we don't tighten them until we basically make sure they're all connected because then we can know where we can kind of mm -hmm. place this thing. It's all tangled. There you go. There we go. So that's going to go into four, five, and six. There you go. Hello? There we go. There we go. And five and six. Okay, and then we're going to take these three, and these are going to go into four, five, and six on the other side. These are RGB. That one there. Boom. Tangled, but and there. Boom. And, and boom. Wait, that's upside down. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now this is all hooked up. Everything is good. So now what I'm going to do, this is like a kind of a slow part, but this is where we slowly now figure out how we're going to hook this up so it all stays right. So it's just one of the fun things. This is called the cable management side. It's just about making your build look prettier. Mm-hmm. This is just this is just me being anal retentive. We're gonna hopefully the plan is is to actually stick your hub right here. So I'm gonna have you take these, and go ahead and peel the back, and you're gonna put one right here and one right here. Perfect. This is just so we have the adhesive on it. Mm-hmm. I know it seems seems like seems seems like duh, but sometimes the, uh, <laughs> sometimes people can't quite see what we're doing. So I'm just trying to explain also for people who are watching because a lot of people, you know, you'd be surprised how many people love to watch people build PCs. Um, in fact, that's I mean that's everything I do is just about streaming and building PCs um, and you know a live stream for that. But we'll have you know yeah that really surprised me actually ten thousand people pretty on average I is know. pretty much what watches this, which is always a lot of fun. And people some people find it therapeutic, um, and some people just you know it's just it's a learning experience. And the thing is is like we try to make sure with people just like you who really just want to get in and do this stuff. This is such an important tool for a lot of like, you know, modern day, whether that's stream, streaming or basically video editing mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff, people just want to be able to do PCs and still, I mean, even with the pandemic and everything, this is still one of the best, this is still better to do. It's more inexpensive to just do it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, well, <laughs> that used to be true. Um, it's get, you know, now with, well, hopefully with GPUs getting easier to get, it gets a little bit easier and hopefully people can uh, build their own PC. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start grouping all of your cables together. Um, that, so that way, should we end up having problems, we just know where everything goes. It just takes a little bit of time. So bear with me, chat. Um, and we're going to go from, we're going to start kind of working through that. Um, and then, uh, so what made you, when you decided, when you, you lit, you started in Ohio mm -hmm. and then you decided to move to San Diego. Yes, I did. So what, what was that move? Like why San Diego? What was it about San Diego that, and it was like at a pretty crazy time. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't think I could have picked a worse time, honestly, because <laughs> I moved to San Diego in February of 2020, right before lockdown, like literally like the next week, everything shut down. And I was like isolated in my apartment. Like, what did I do? <laughs> There's nobody here. Um, I just, I really have always liked California and the West Coast specifically okay. because of the gaming world. And I have been out here for several different gaming conventions. And I actually just, for some reason, really liked San Diego more than any other place that I had been. Plus, it was going to be super convenient because uh, TwitchCon is typically in San Diego. Not sure where it'll be when we start having conventions again. Um, also, like San Diego, San Diego Comic Con is a thing. Yeah. And I want to, that's like on a bucket list of mine. So you haven't got to I've do it yet. I've never been. And then everything got shut down. So um, I'm hoping I get to go and then like unveil some really big cosplay one day. Oh, wow. That'd, that'd be, be huge. Really yeah. Fun. So uh, have you got to do any gaming events whatsoever? 
Not really, no, because... Just ever since, like, really when you got into it, like, even before you didn't get to do packs or anything like oh, that? Oh, no, I, sorry, I misunderstood. Okay, since sorry. coming out here, okay. no, because there haven't been any. But, yeah, I've been to, I pretty much go to, like, every PAX East, PAX West, TwitchCon. Um, I was going to try to go to the uh, TwitchCon Amsterdam. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I was, I was going to try to finally go out to one of those, and then that got canceled. So, <laughs> hopefully. So, what are some of your favorite, what are some of your favorite convention memories? Oh. <laughs> um, that you could talk about. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> like mm. how did I, the way that you said that, I was like, maybe I need to clarify. No, just kidding. I'm trying to think. Um, honestly, it's usually just little things like going and getting ramen with, all of my gaming buddies from all over the world that we never get to be in the same room. Right. So, you know, going out and getting ramen or, you know, running around to different parties together. It's, there's not any, like, one specific thing that sticks out, really. It's just, like, being surrounded by all of my friends, friends and my community. And Have you done any meetups with, uh, with people from your community and, like, it, it, at some of the shows? Yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. I've had, like, a couple meet and greets. Okay. Where, like, you know, like, just the giant line and everything but i also have done um like i'll get everybody together for maybe dinner or something but my community is getting a little big for that so you're not taking them to dinner anymore no i have to figure out what we're gonna do next next time it's like they're they're, you're like you're gonna do it in like vegas at like you know you're gonna like (laughs) rent out like a buffet we're just gonna have like cauliflower con i'm just gonna start my own con it's gonna be great wouldn't that be cool though that would be crazy that'd be crazy so, um, and then, so this year is, I mean, cause it sounds like we, you know, we're starting to get to the point where a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, you know, events are starting to rehappen again. I mean, I know, you know, even when we were talking to Joel on the stream, like he's doing stream, I mean, he's doing music and stuff again. So what are the things you're looking forward to the most this year? I know there's no, there's no comic con this year. As far yeah, as no, I doubt there'll be any conventions this year. Um, well, I mean, you know, I got vaccinated, so I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm going to Vegas with some okay. friends from back home, and we're going to okay. go to a concert, which, like, I'm very into music. Okay. Into live music. So. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your genre? Well, I, that's the thing. I listen to, like, everything. everything. Okay. I really like alternative rock or okay. electronic stuff. It's okay. It's very, like. Like so. EDM, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to go see Zed. Okay. So. That's the plan. So wow! So first concert coming up. Yeah, a little nervous, but oh, it'll be I'm, I'm ready for things to get a little bit more normal. And you're vaccinated already, yeah. and all that sort of stuff, anyway. Yeah. Cool. So that should be good. So what is it like? So what is it when you did do these meet and greets for in your community? What was that like? Me, what, do you remember like the first time you ever did it, and you met people that you know who used to watch you and stuff? Was that strange or? It was. I, I remember one time, probably like the one memory that sticks out from that is there, I was just out eating dinner and this person came up to me and they like couldn't breathe. They couldn't pull wow. it together. They were like, oh my God, you're, you're cauliflower. And it was like another Twitch partner. Oh, wow. And okay. to me, it was, it was, it just like completely rocked my world because I, I I was like, I'm just me. I'm just another person. And I felt so like, it'll be okay. We can get through this together. (laughs) Um, But it was, gosh, it really just like, I don't know. For some reason, that one really sticks with me because. That's always cool. Yeah. Like you just think of everybody as like, I'm just a dude playing video games. Like I'm not some big deal. Like everybody tries to make it out to be. And. And that's yeah. not what, that's kind of not what you want either, right? Like, no, you know, I don't want people to like have almost panic attacks when they see me. Like I want them to just, that's why I try to, I always bring like gifts yep. for my viewers. I bring oh, wow, little okay. um, enamel pins with me. So there's like this thing that they can bring up and talk with me about and it can kind of help them. Like there's a reward for like <laughs> coming a, and saying There's hi. a reward for coming and talking and then to if, me. And if they have like one of those moments where they kind of start to like freak out because they don't know what to say because a lot of people have like really bad social anxiety right. i try to like help them through it give them their pin and let them go so they don't you know freak out anymore but that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool i keep that in mind but it's fun and speaking of that, we actually like we all like speaking of pins. Like we actually have these really cool uh, pride 
basically, you can see them right there, the oh, yeah. enamel pins. Um, I'm hoping that we actually, like we were talking a little bit, like I really want that. Yeah. I really want that mouse mat. Um, and just some really great uh, swag that we're giving away, that stuff that people can win. We've given away, I think, what, eight codes at this point in time? Mm -hmm. So we still got a couple more that we're going to be doing uh, during the stream. But... Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's rad to get to do that stuff. That's just yeah. it's one of those things that like I didn't start I didn't start streaming till right before the pandemic. Oh, so wow, I've okay. only been doing it. We're just now coming up. I just celebrated my one year wow. as a affiliate because I, I stream to multiple. I have a, yeah. I have a modified yeah, affiliate, I so I stream to multiple um, things. But it's one of those things that people keep asking about doing like a meet and greet. I have gotten lots of like every time I like I went to Micro Center today to get your to get your fans and like yeah. every time I go to a micro center it did no matter what it's like I know Absolutely. I'm not going to get out of there without getting you know some number of pictures and stuff like that but um, it is still I love I, I mean it's doing a doing a community thing I just like I just like teaching people about yeah. PCs which is always super fun so really rewarding meeting them <laughs> yeah exactly um okay we're almost close I'm actually so what I've done is you guys get a we'll get a top-down view right now but what I did is essentially just make your stuff look mm -hmm. nice yeah. um, it wasn't like in a nightmare I mean we're, we're gonna pull we're gonna cut some cables and stuff right now but everything's just kind of all strung together what I've started doing is pre-wiring all of your front panel connections so we're gonna do we're gonna run all that stuff now mm -hmm. and start having you hook things up to the motherboard once that's done then we're gonna put in your GPU and then your power supply, and then it's kind of done. You're actually well over three quarters finished with this build at this point in time. So you're, we're, uh, we're actually cooking with gas and in great shape right All now. Right. So I'm gonna figure out where these two go by looking at the motherboard real quick. And then we'll move on. Okay, so this one's gonna go to the bottom down here. This is your USB 3. Point whatever, 3.2. And then this is your USB-C going to disconnect that and this is going to go right up here and then once we get these in then we'll, what we'll do is we'll start running all of our we'll start um, putting all of our cables through okay so there's that so that takes care of that and then we need one more cable which is the one that you pulled on purpose at the beginning mm -hmm. which is that one that yeah. threw me back in the day because you just knew you're like yes you need this cable Roby <laughs> <laughs> sort of pull this one out this is your SATA it's gonna hook up to your cat meme photo thing here, right here, mm -hmm. or cosplay, or yeah. We, we don't talk about what's going on is. this drive. And then we're gonna just run this right into here. Okay, and then that is the so every we're gonna turn this over, and you're gonna see a bunch of cables just sticking out, and you get to hook them up. Ooh. Who's ready? I'm ready. Ugh. And those are all those zip ties sticking out here. Okay, so let's have you pop over here. Let's start having you pop things in here. So the first one we're gonna do, this one's gonna go into this middle one right here. The other two should be disabled, so you're gonna put that one right there. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's kind of this weird bends. <laughs> in the and middle? The silver's gonna go on the top, yeah. The silver part's gonna go on the top. All right, I'm trying to make sure I get the cable like yeah, it's just underneath. Weird. Then we'll pull it taut afterwards. There you go. Perfect. Click. Solid Ooh. click. Okay, this one is USB-C. There's only one way to see which way it is. Not that way. So it's going to go this way. And it's going to pop in right there. Goes in this way? Nope. The, uh, this the other way. way. Other way. You turn this around. Way. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And it'll go in pretty easily if it's the right way. Just push it in. Is that right? There you go. <laughs> it's okay. You, a lot of people get nervous. Well, that they they're make like, little, like... I get oh. nervous. There's going to be like a oh, crunch. Of course. Yeah, of course. You're like, now I'm going to hook this one up because this is the worst blooming cable on the planet. Okay. It's a USB 3.2. So I'm going to take this one real quick and I'm going to have you hook this up because you've hooked this up before. And that goes into one of these little headers right here. Can you I see it? I can't see it, but I believe See those little, fan, those little headers? You hook just like the other one that you did. Which one am I doing? Either one. Here? Yep. That's for, that works totally fine. Uh, wait. Boom, perfect. Now this one is the worst cable on the planet because it, it's the one, can you hold those real quick? Okay, mm -hmm. this is like, you have to do it at a 90 degree and if you don't, it just bends pins. There we go, okay. So this one, this is your, this actually, this is your USB. 
And what this does is this is powering your whole AIO here. So I'll trade you. Okay. As you can see, there's one little there's one little pin that's filled mm -hmm. in. So it only goes one way, and it's going to go into this USB connection right there. Uh, you cannot see. See where it says USB, yeah. and the USB usually goes top. Yep, just like that. USB one or two. Either one. Let's do two. Perfect. Hello. I know that's right. Okay. Give it some gusto. Oh, it's on. Oh, you got it on. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's already, it just went on easily. Oh. You're just probably expecting it to be harder. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then this is the last one. This is your HD audio. This is for your front panel connections. This one is going to go into the far corner right there, and you can see there's the missing pin. Boom. This is like this is always like the most rewarding part because this is like everything like this is just making the PC work. Did you get it in? Maybe. I'll check. Check. <laughs> it's all good. It's I think four. I did, but. Okay, you are in. Okay, now the last one. These are the most challenging cables you'll plug in. These are your front panel connections. Um, and I always like to let people do these because they're fun-ish. Not really. Okay, um, so reset switch. This is your reset switch. I'll give you the first one. This is going to go, well, I'm going to put the first one in. I'll let you do the ones from here. Okay. This is going to go right here. Okay, now, so reset switch is in. So that way, like, you have, like, a nice point of reference. So power switch, which is this one right here, goes right above the one I just did. And it goes with the top up. So power switch goes up, facing the other, yep, just like that. And it goes right above reset switch. Like right here? Yep, just right above it, just like that. Just push it all the way in. Perfect. Okay, next one is power plus and minus. So same thing. You just want plus to be on the left and minus to be on the right. And these are going to go right next to the power switch one you just hooked up. And honestly, I'm always super proud of when people do these ones because they just, they just, these are like the little itty bitty connectors that not every company, some companies make it easy like NZXT, but this is just like a rite of passage for PC building when you hook up your first front panel connections. It is, I don't know, I just, I don't, I think it is. I don't know, what do you guys think? Yeah, they're so fiddly. Let's see how you did. Is that right? Yes, it is. Congratulations. You are officially a PC builder. Um, your, uh, your certificate is in the mail. It goes right, <laughs> it's almost as good as your 100,000, your 100,000 YouTube, your 100,000 YouTube or whatever. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I'm proud. I'm proud of you. You did good, kid. You did good. Um, and uh, this is, I love doing this stuff. You having fun? Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Okay, so now your, P, your motherboard and basically your PC pretty much works. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to do turn it over, do a little bit more cable management. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put in your GPU, which is always the most exciting thing because that's what everybody wants mm -hmm. to see. Uh, throw in some other pretty cables to make it look really nice. And then throw in some power and turn it on. Okay. And then you're going to go show me how to look good in, uh, in Apex. Apex Legends. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a rehash of what we're going to do. So you got all this stuff done, and I'm just gonna quickly start making it look pretty. So it's just done from there. Now, cosplay. Yes. Pretty big thing for you. Yeah. All in all, like what is what are some of the what are some of the cosplays you've done? Um, well, most notably would be my Lady Dimitris cosplay from Resident Evil Village. Okay. Um the internet kind of lost its mind over that one. Okay. And that was really, really good, huh? Yeah. It I think was I very, saw that one on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. It's pinned on there. It was very recent. Um, okay. Because I did that for the launch of it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I got to play the game early in the cosplay. So it was like a huge deal. Everybody was really excited. Um, I also cosplayed Lilith from Borderlands. That oh, was like okay. my first big one where I actually wore it at a convention. Okay. That what was, convention did you wear it at? Oh, it was like some little thing in Ohio. Was, I think it was called uh, OhioCon. What oh, wow. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, That'd be pretty was, funny if it was like just about cheese and you wore like a... <laughs> I know that's not really what it was about, but sorry. No. Just... Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a fun experience, though. It, uh, it took me four hours to get into that cosplay because I had to like paint all of her 
arm tattoos on her and everything. But like doing that with a mirror is really hard. You have to do everything backwards. Oh yeah. I bet so, you that is. Yeah. Speaking of that, we actually have, uh, for those who haven't seen it, because we figure like, why not? Um, we actually have your Lady of the Matrix cosplay uh, here for everybody to see on oh, the show. Goodness. We're going to pull this up so you guys can see it. There it is right there. Wow, you did awesome. So how, how hard was it to do something like this? Um, very hard, not hard. It's very tricky to, I don't, doing like a full body cosplay like that is really tough. Um, I was actually lucky enough, I was able to commission the dress. Okay. I don't have that kind of time with stream and all of the things that I manage. Um, but I had to get like each thing, just like I had to nail each thing. Like, okay. So like fixing that wig was a nightmare because I had to glue it to my head. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's glued to my head in that. Um, because for whatever reason, she's got her hair like pinned back behind her ear, but wigs don't like doing that. So I had to like glue down the side and... Wow. Yeah, it was like a whole thing. And um, what did you... Did you wear it just for the stream? Yeah, or? I only wore it for the stream and for pictures because I didn't really have anywhere to wear it yet. But yeah. And, the, and just so you guys know, I mean, given we, we again, we're always connected here. So obviously the co the next code is Lady Demetrix. We're bringing that up right now. That's the next giveaway code for you guys. And there it is right now. You don't spell it the way that it's. No, you. you so it's, I'm really glad we're actually putting that up because I would have spelled that completely wrong. It's a very wrong. tough one. Yeah, that is not a uh, that is not a uh, one that I would normally spell. Um, the way that it is from there. So I'm glad that they're actually showing that. Or we could have been like, haha, guess. No. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck with how that's spelled, um, which is pretty awesome uh, in terms of uh, really making people really enjoy giveaways when you don't tell them yeah. exactly what they need to do to, to get it in from there. Yeah. Um, what's, what's, what's next in the cosplay world for you? Do you have other ones that you'd oh, like to do? I, I keep those secret. What? I, so actually, what are, what are we even here for? Well, I don't even know. <laughs> um, so I actually, so I have, uh, a Patreon. Okay. I don't know if you know what that is, but I do. I do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, but other people may not. So why don't you, yeah. I just, so my Patreon is basically a place where people can follow along behind the scenes with anything that I'm working on. Okay. So they could follow, like they get to know basically announcements ahead of time uh so if say when i was working on the lady dimitris cosplay they got to actually see the progress of it come together okay and they get to see the pictures early or know what's what's coming up next um so i generally don't tell oh okay. what my next big one is except for those people because they, they're they're supporting they that, you yeah they're, yeah, that's a they're support supporting thing. me yeah. and yeah. so they get that privilege um because it is a, like, I don't know if you said this, but it is a pay. Like, people do pay to support yeah, you on Patreon. Yeah, Patreon is, like, another, it's just another place where you can pledge. Yeah. You, like, pledge a certain amount each month. And they usually can be related to, like, specific things. Like, you're, like you know, people support you on Twitch with subs or whatever it was. But um, Patreon can be, like, there could be, like, a subculture of people who want to support your cosplay Yeah, it's, or like, another subsection of my community. It's, like, a little smaller, tighter-knit part of my community. It's really kind of cute. Okay. Um, but yeah, I have to really start working on cosplay soon because I do a month-long event in October called oh. Halloween. <laughs> it's called, oh, Halloween. I get it, I get it, I get it. That's almost, and she <laughs> said she doesn't know dad jokes. I'm just well, kidding. okay, yeah, true. Um, <laughs> but I do like a month-long event of cosplay, horror games. I build a spooky set for my stream. Okay. So I have like, it looks like you're in a haunted house basically cool. behind me. And I was on the front page of Twitch last year for like all of my makeup and stuff I was doing. Okay. Um, I did like a, a Pennywise look on stream that was a really That's big hit. That's not cool. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool I for you. It was cool, cool for you people, but it's like not for I me. I thought it was cool. That's the stuff that breeds nightmares. But that's yeah. the point. <laughs> yeah, but I got to start getting ready for that because... So when do you start playing? You start playing now pretty much? Pretty much. Okay. It takes, I mean, because I did 12 cosplays last October Whoa. for it, and it takes a lot. So what was, what was some of the 12? Pennywise was the big one. Which is, which is it was again, like a full nightmares. Body thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought Just I was Just clowns in general are pretty much cool. the thing nightmare. Um, I did a really fun, so we've been speaking about like Game of Thrones, um, Daenerys, the dragon lady. Uh, her and... Sorry, they just told me. They, so they I, just you? so people know, they talked to me in my ear, yeah. and they were like, yeah, they, "Can you ask her what you'd like to see you cosplay?" I was like, that reaction was no. <laughs> 
this right there. That's just, I mean, I will, but I mean, it's just like, sorry, I, I know that right. reaction. You were probably like, what, what did like, I what's do? Going on? No, it was not your fault. It's just they surprised the crud out of me when they asked me that. And so I, I want to make sure I give you context to sit there and they're like, wait, oh, no, you're, good. you're good. Oh, so. Um, um, but yeah, so what was some of the Pennywise? So I do special effects makeup too. Okay. So I did wow, a. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I did like a half and half where half of me was the the dragon queen, Daenerys. Okay. And then the like part of my eye looked like a dragon was coming out of my face. Whoa. Um, like I had like a dragon like contact in, I had scales popping out of my face. I did it all on stream. It took like four hours just to paint it all. Um, that That's was crazy. a really fun one. You really enjoyed that one? Yeah. So, so, when, so when you think about the next one, do you feel like you got to one up yes, yourself? Yes, I do. And there's and a venture point where it's like that's starting to get a little. I've uh, kind of hit that point already. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to keep one upping. I did 12 cosplays last that's year, crazy. and I was like, by the end of October, I was like, I'm done. Halloween got there, and I was like, I don't even want to cosplay. I don't want to put on a costume. <laughs> So uh, what did you what did you end up going to Halloween as? I'm just um, curious. Like after all that, were you like, I'm going as I threw on a <laughs> <laughs> No, I could have. Um, I actually did a Stranger Things event with Dead by Daylight on Halloween. OK, so I was in um, Great show. a Stranger Things Scoops Ahoy outfit. OK, I OK. Robin from Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did because it was really easy. I just had to wear a sailor hat and the dress and it was like, <laughs> you're like, fine. I'm in I was like whatever. But yeah, that one was good. Okay, okay. Okay, so they want to ask, if you okay. were, if I was going to cosplay, what would you like to see me cosplay? I don't even know if you know an answer to that question. That's such a... I want to see you in a Lady Dimitris cosplay. Whoa. I think that would be great with the giant hat, the, the dress. What do you guys think, chap? Uh, do, do you think I, think I could pull... Could I think we could pull it off, right? Yeah, people are like laughing. Could. Yeah, Yeah, like a, a gender no. thing. <laughs> No. One guy's flat out. No, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I've. Oh, I know you will. I know that's the thing. It's like I have to submit for streams. But like, oh, and by the way, uh, mm -hmm. we, you asked, and now Roby's wearing it. I've got an extra hat if you need it. Oh my gosh! And you're only down in San Diego. Yeah, you know what? I, Honestly, yeah. he has your contact info. So yeah, guess what? I'm going to be building an entire PC dressed as Lady Demetrius next mm -hmm. week. That would be. It's going to be. Yeah, we're going to have to negotiate pay on that Think one. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I, I have always but, wanted to get into cosplay. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, you said you did one once. I, I did. I did do, like, so, like, I, like, and it's not good. I mean, like, I did, I went to, I went to, I have, like, a whole, I have everything for Harry Potter. Is, uh, really? Like, a straight up, like, the, the sweater. I had somebody, like, I had a sweater made. I had all the stuff made. So that's what I'm going to do for Halloween this year is actually do a full-on uh, Harry Potter one. But I've never done anything like crazy crazy i did a jedi i actually had a really nice robe made and stuff like that but i mean that's all like that's all it seems like pretty legit my my son we did do a ridiculous master chief one which we actually mm. did, I, I think you got like 100 and like i think it got like almost twelve thousand likes when we did it on wow. on twitter um which everybody remembers little the little uh i don't know if people do remember the little master chief i'll show it to you later mm -hmm. um but yeah my son like killed it and that was a great that was a great one he actually ended up winning a competition during oh, wow. the um, during the um the halo they had the um the halo events and he got to go and do one of those which was pretty cool that's awesome um but that's like that's like the extent of it no i like i am i'm so impressed with cosplayers just as somebody who just pays so much to attention to detail in other ways like it's yeah. just one of those things that i watch it and it's just like i mean you did such a great job it's, it's awesome and so you did so well i wish i could pull it off apparently people want to see me pull it off and there's something <laughs> wrong with every single one of you no, 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 that's actually not true. But um, all in all, like I do anything to entertain, which is always fun. Um, okay, uh, we are. I have it all cleaned up. You can see we all look nice. Mm -hmm. This one cable's driving me bonkers, which I kept fiddling with. But I'm like, you know, there's eventually a point, Roby, where you just literally need to finish the build. Um, okay, so let's flip this over. All of your stuff is hooked up. You guys gonna? Let's take a look. Let's go top down. What do you guys think? This is this is the state of the build. We got this is power. We got one more power down here, but everything else is. Uh, pretty much, what do you guys think in terms of cleanliness? Are we feeling pretty good about how this looks? I know we have this one cable we just need to draw down there, but um, looks so clean and good. People are happy, clean and neat. That's what I like to see when I finish a build. So, and again, if uh, if you ever have issues, it makes it really easy for me to remember how you um, actually did your build. So let's flip it over and open up your do your GPU. Now we can just turn it over because everything's all put away. 
Okay, so if you want to grab your GPU box, this is all, this is all you. This is all the, the favorite part. Just okay. People love these things. This is the unboxing. Well, of course they do. You yes. can't find, well. Yeah, you, you can't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm. here's your, here's your Razorblad. Nice. There are we, there. It may not, it actually may not need one. I some of them do, know. some of them don't. You might have overprepared you. Kind of getting our mess cleaned up while we're at it. We're at the tail end of the build now. <laughs> so what are some of the places that people were gonna look you up and they wanted to, is it, is it cauliflower everywhere? Yeah, okay. well, it's shocking nobody else wanted it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You can tell if you're serious. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I, uh, every single social media that I have, my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, YouTube, whatever, it's all cauliflower. Okay. So. What's some of your TikTok content? Um, right now, it's mostly taking uh, clips from stream, like best moments. Okay. But um, the plan is to get a bunch of cosplay stuff. So the next time I put on like a big cosplay, I plan on filming like a ton of new TikToks and everything. So. That'll be cool. Yeah. You enjoy you enjoy doing TikTok? I do actually because it's it's so weird how many people are on TikTok oh, and a like lot, yeah. how easily you can go viral on it. Like I posted one video of my pet snake. Okay. In less than forty eight hours she got two hundred thousand views. Wow. I was like, okay, why? People really like snakes. They do. Apparently. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go, guys. Pulling it out. This is the MSI Ventus. Love the way this card looks. It's triple fan cooling. It's still got that really massive heat sink, which is nice. Um, and then you can guys basically take a look at it. This is what we're going to basically get installed here in a minute. Um, we gotta, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and set it down right here. And you can see these two screws right here. Mm -hmm. You're going to grab the screwdriver and remove those two screws. Um, and then remove the little plates that go with it. Second and third one, right? Huh? The second and third yeah, one? Yeah, second and third, correct. Yep. Woo. There we go. Cool. Okay. Great. Now, what we're going to do is you're gonna take your CPU, your GPU, sorry, not your CPU, that's already in. Yeah. And then you're gonna set it in, it's gonna go right in that little slot right there. And then let me know, just I know the, the table has a tendency to be very high, so if you can't, ooh, let's remove this right here. Oh yeah. Make sure, there we go, perfect. Uh, other way. This way? Yep, so it's gonna go in just like that, yep, and it's gonna go right in that little slot nice. right there. So just, you're gonna go under and then over. Huh. Here, let me get, you want to, <laughs> what are let's you, get you started. What are you, I'm do that. Just like this. Oh, Then you're I just going to line it up. Yeah, there you go. Just line it up, and then if you can line it in to the top slot, into that slot. Wait, so like, out? And then, okay, maybe I don't see. Okay. You, you I'm a little bit taller, so it does actually help. There you go. And then I'll have you, oh, never mind, I just slipped, I just slapped it in. Cool. Okay. You okay with that? Sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, so we're all in. Now what we gotta do is we gotta figure out where, this is your anti-sag bracket. Mm -hmm. We just gotta figure out. So go ahead and remove these three screws, but we're not going to, we're not going to remove the little plates this time. Cool. Perfect. And three. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, now what we're gonna do, put these all, make these all sit back in. And this is what this is gonna do is just gonna keep your 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 GPU from sagging, which is what people always complain about. Like you'll sit there and put it in there, like your GPU sagging. It's just like a pet peeve of PC builders. Okay, so now we just gotta get this to stay, which is literally the most annoying thing. Want to fall? I'll do this one, and then we'll go from there. 
One at a time. Oh, come on. Okay. I'd be curious, like, when you think about, when you think about, when you commission, like, when you thought, hey, I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. this particular cosplay, how did you figure out how to get the commission, the dress and stuff like that? If people were, like, wanting to get into it and they're like, oh, I'd love to do a cosplay or stuff like that, what is it, what are some of the things that you'd, you'd recommend getting them started with? Well... You're like, don't, I'll, give up. Well, cosplaying is a very expensive hobby. Can okay. be a very expensive hobby if you're trying to go, like, super detail-oriented. Um, honestly, you don't, you don't want to start with, like, the most expensive stuff, like commissioning a right. full dress. Like, I did that, so I find people to commission through, like, Etsy. Okay. That's usually where I'll look for people. Um, or, like, I just i have known people over the years that I've commissioned for some things. Um, but a lot of it is just you're making it with, like, random things you already have. Or, like, you're going to, like, a craft store and finding stuff to, like, repurpose. Okay. Like, I've, I've taken clothes and then, like, altered them, basically, for cosplays. So... It doesn't always have to be some like brand new original thing. I just wanted to go very big for that, that, that one. particular one. Yeah. And it's very time consuming, right? Because it of is. just the amount of like finding just that right piece. Yes. And Trying then how, to like source it all. Yeah. How long does like, what do you, like, where, like, where do you look? Like, is it just like, is it, is it a lot of like, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, thrifting or? Some of it's thrifting. Some of it's just Amazon. Okay. Just like, um, hey search for yeah you'll be searching for like I, the base of the outfit generally i don't know it's hard to explain um like i did a cosplay from dead by daylight where okay. i was the character meg thomas and like i just went on amazon and i ended up finding it was it was basically like a really flowy brown like skirt that i found that and then i like got it i cut like a slit into it and then i painted like hand painted a bunch of flowers on it so that it looked just like it did in game i usually will do that though like amazon's pretty great for that like and you and you have to like you just basically are like looking for blue shirt or brown yeah. skirt or yeah and then you kind of you might have to sew it afterwards or paint it or cut it up or tear it up or whatever it is um and you've probably I, ended up having to learn like end up learning a lot of new skills yeah right? like, you learn a ton of new things. Like, I'm not very good at sewing, so I usually try to avoid projects that require sewing, but anything with like painting fabrics and like weathering them so they look like gritty, like they're in a video game, that's really fun to do. Like messing them up. You enjoy that part of it? Yes, that is super fun. Okay, guess what? We're back to cable combs. Ooh. We're on the last like little bits of cables that need to get done now for this stuff, so. These are extra. I'm going to hand you some cable combs. And then what we're going to do now is get the last little bits. We're going to get the GPU and the basically the, the board power done. And so what we're going to do, the way you kind of do this is you test fit them. So we're going to say, okay, when, if we're going to plug these in, mm -hmm. these are going to go like, they're going to go like that essentially. Yep. And so we, what we want is all of the cable combs and there's four per cable. To, to be on the top, uh, maybe it might be three. Oh, no, it's four. Okay, good. Okay, so there's, there's a total of eight. And then you want the cables, so I'll pop the first one in for you, and then you can put the other ones on. There you go. So you're going to want three more on that, like that, below it. Like just directly under it? Or yeah, like... and then we, we can scoot them out afterwards. Okay. And that is the same way. I'll put one on here, and then I'll have you do that while I do the one on the 24 pin. So who are some of your favorite, like, people, other people who you've seen in cosplay who've, like, kind of inspired you? Do you have other cosplayers you really, like, you're just impressed by? Or? Oh, yeah. Um, or, so the biggest inspiration for me cosplay-wise is uh, somebody, uh, Jessica Negri. Okay. She... She, like, kind of pioneered it, honestly. Okay. Because she, she showed up at, like, San, I don't remember which convention it was, but, like, her first thing ever was her doing a 
Pikachu cosplay. Oh, wow. Okay. But she did it a little bit more uh, not kid friendly. Okay. Um, so she got a lot of a lot of attention very quickly for that. And then it just kind of like opened up this crazy amount of just love for cosplay for tons of people. Um, I don't know. She puts a lot of like really... You can see the production quality in everything right. that she does. Like she does like full photo shoots with like Photoshop on everything and making sure it all looks absolutely perfect. Um, but I, I just kind of enjoy her stuff because she's just so unapologetically herself. And, and that's like, what you really like about it. Yeah, it's, it's just like she like her cosplay is like it's like unique to her, and she yes. like she doesn't she it's just it's her. Yes, she she does it, and it's kind of like a well if you don't like it, oh, oh well, well, this is yeah. me. That's cool. And I think that's just, just for everything in life, I think that's a kind of a cool motto. Um, what do you, well, like, if you had, like, a dream cosplay, like, I know you won't, you can't tell us what your next one is, but <laughs> you know, like, if you had one that, like, is, like, your bucket list of cosplay, what are some of the, like, bucket list ones? Um, I have worked on one of them, but I kind of hit a snag. Uh, okay. Pyramid Head. Wow, actually. Okay. I wanted to go really, really, really big and make a, like, I already have, like, a sword that's, like, this tall. Okay. Like, just chilling in my stream room. Okay. Because um, I really like making the props for cosplay. Those are really fun. Um, so, like, making the weapons and stuff, making them look like they're actually metal and, like, they have blood on them or whatever it is. Um, so, that's a really big one. Um, Anything else? I don't know. No. So, it's like your know. mind is like working now. I'm kind of just winging it and <laughs> we'll see what happens and some of it might you know you, it, some of it's probably as yet to be discovered because you're like you haven't seen certain games or there exactly. might be something else like you know you weren't you like it's not like i could have asked you that question two years ago and you would have been like lady to matrix people would be like what are you talking exactly. about yeah so yeah so i still have to find all the characters <clears throat> okay. okay so what we're gonna do now there we go find we're gonna go ahead and get this just kind of going Right here, since we're close, let me grab this last one, and then we'll kind of get this stuff hooked up, and then get your PSU and get this powered here. Yeah, I get used. To, it's like I get used to putting these together. Mm -hmm. After a while, okay, and then you got one more for me. There you go, perfect. And then go from there, and then we'll get these plugged in, and then we'll just quickly get your PSU on. We'll turn it on and play some Apex. How's that sound? Sounds awesome. Okay, so uh, these things, basically you're just going to put them in right there. I'll put one in, you put the other one here. So let me just show you how to do it. I'm just going to go in just like that, make sure it clicks. Oh, wow, okay. Just like. Just, yeah, oh. and sometimes it'll be a little bit wacky with like the side there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cool, perfect. And I'm going to hook this one up. It's your power cable. It's going to go right there. And this is one of the worst, the hardest thing, one, one complaint I have about this case is... Um, just the, just the, uh, the, there's a little thin part right here um, called a, uh, it's a rubber grommet, and that rubber grommet gets in the way. So I'm just going to run your cables real quick, make it look pretty. And I, did I do all four? Of the, oh, no, that's why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get that down. Yeah, I, like I think cosplay is like it's just one of those things. Like I watch, and like you said, some of them are just works of art, mm -hmm. and it's just like when you see them, you're just like, man, that's yeah, crazy. Like, some of the big builds will have full on like LEDs and like smoke machines in them, and I want to get to that level one day. But that's like if it's your full time job, maybe. So I don't, I don't think I'll ever quite get there. But yeah, there are definitely there are like cosplay streamers, right? Like. People oh, who yeah. just like literally cosplay, I mean, sorry, stream them putting cosplay mm -hmm. together, right? Yeah, I streamed making a cosplay once, like a long, long, long time ago when I was, uh, I was working on the Borderlands cosplay, the okay. Lilith one. I was cell shading the outfit. It took a very long time. <laughs> and people, people, did people enjoy the content? Yeah, I mean, because I think... It's a little bit different. I got to talk with them more. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the things I notice about sometimes some of the stuff that we do. It's like, oh... It's a very conversational, like you're like, what is it? it's called co heavy cognitive load. You know that term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have a heavy cognitive load when you're playing games because you're like, I'm trying to win. Yeah. And chat's like, but, but hey, talk to, to us, <laughs> converse with us, tell us your inner thoughts. Um, okay. Let's get this last little thing in. 
and then we'll hook up your power supply. Oh, come on. There it is. Just that much too thin. And there we go. Okay, so we'll let that be a surprise for you when you can see the final version. So there's all your cables ready to get kind of done. So we're just gonna put this down like that. And then let's grab your power supply. You get a you get a you get to be part of a Roby Tech tradition on oh. power supplies. Here in a minute. What is this tradition? Uh, where you get to smell it. What? Yep. You, okay. It's part of part of the process. You smell it? Just go with it. Yeah. Just okay. Go with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we're all good there. Let me grab your power supply real quick, and then we'll get that hooked up. Let me turn this bad boy on. We're so close. So do you have, like, have you had any, like, uh, top stream moments or top, like, things that you have had, like, accomplished in your streaming career that you go back and you think about? Like, what are some of those, those big, like, golden things that have kind of happened over your, over your time? Well, um, we do charity streams. Okay. My community has raised over, I can't remember exactly, but it's over $50,000 for wow. charity. And that's only like, it's just little old me doing it. So <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Um, that's still huge. We, we've only done them for like maybe three years. Okay. Roughly. Um, so really happy about that. We raised money for um, Stack Up. So we raised money for veterans. Okay. Trying to get them video games and things. Veterans and like currently serving members. Um, Active duty. To help them out with everything. Yeah. And then we also just recently raised a bunch of money uh, for Gamers Outreach. Okay, which, yeah, Zach and his team. Yeah. yeah, so you know all about it. They bring the um, carts Arts. around hospitals to sick kids. So we got to do that. Um, we have another one coming up in July. We, we do a lot of charity stuff, which I'm very proud of. Um, so that's like one of the things we've done. Okay. Um, I just celebrated hitting 90,000 followers on Twitch. That's crazy. Yeah. So that, that big 100,000 is coming up quick. Coming up, huh? Yeah, I got to do something for it. I don't ever... You haven't figured out what it is? I don't know what to do. Yeah. But I don't know. Um, I mean, like, I just hit full-time, like, four years June 1st. So wow, okay. That was a big thing. Did you guys do anything cool for that? <laughs> no, oh. because... <laughs> I, <laughs> We honestly, I've had so many things going on lately. Right. I, it's usually they sneak up on me and I realize that I'm like, oh, You're no. like, oh man, I should have done like something tomorrow. for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the big pride announcement on June that's, 1st yeah, that's was, pretty big. was yeah. kind of the, the bigger thing to me. So. And having support from your community yeah. for that stuff and things like that too is pretty yeah. cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then, what do you got? Like, what, when you think about like short term, what are some of the things that your 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 community can look forward to, or have you not planned that far here? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I told you, I'm, I'm trying to plan for Halloween. Okay, so that's a big I'm one. Trying to plan out all those cool cosplays. Um, I have a Dead by Daylight charity event in July. Okay. That we'll be doing like I'll actually be streaming on a weekend, and it'll be for charity with wow. a bunch of my friends or on my team. So that'll be really fun. Should be really goofy. Um, gosh, there actually there's a very big announcement that I can't say what it is, but, but be ready. There's a huge announcement coming this week. Okay. That they don't know about yet. So what, what day should they tune in to check that out if they're if they're interested? <sighs> I'm hoping uh, Wednesday. Okay, uh, Wednesday. I'll, I'll let them know. It's it's tentative for Wednesday, but there's a very, very, very big thing happening, and uh, you're excited about it. I can very tell. excited. Yes. Uh, and you know, it's funny because it's something we haven't talked about. I know there's a lot of people. Again, some people, who, some people from your audience, but a lot of people who probably have never watched you before. When do you typically stream? So I mean, not everybody probably knows that. Yeah, it's true. Um, so I stream Monday through Friday. I start around 1 p.m. Pacific, and then I go anywhere from like six to eight hours from there. 
Okay, so mm-hmm. it's like they're long. Yeah, they're they're decent streams. I usually start with like an hour of just chatting with my community and I'll like get ready for the day, do my makeup. If I want to do something big that day, I'll do something big, like a cosplay or something. And then we get into the games and, you know, like basically I have like a couple days of Dead by Daylight, a couple days of Apex, and then a day of whatever I want to do. Um, yeah, that's me. That's pretty, I mean, like, again, that's like six hours. What, like a lot of people, sometimes people bring up and they always ask, like, what made you determine the times that you actually stream? Uh, You know, I don't really remember what it was that made me decide to do six hours. I think it was initially when I went full time, I tried to like schedule out like an actual 40 hour week. Okay. Okay. I used to stream six days a week. Okay. And then it was just. Like, That's a little it much. was killing me. I needed more of a, you know, work-life balance. So I cut it back to Monday through Friday instead. And I think I just kind of kept the, the stream time like that because it just was what I was used to. But, yes. hmm, yeah. And then you like, and so like, again, weekend streams, how often do you think you stream on the weekends? <laughs> it's super rare. Like maybe like one or two times a year. So, so it's not something that happens all no, that often. No, it's, it's not something that happens often. Um, it was a big deal when you actually do do it. Yes. That's why we're doing it for that big charity stream. And how long is, have you done any of those 24 hour ones like uh, uh, Extra Life or? Yes, um, I did, well, I did a subathon that okay. was a 24 hour stream. And I I'll do that again. don't want to do a 24 hour stream again because I walked away from my PC like I was intoxicated. <laughs> I, like, I hadn't had anything to drink. It's just the way that your body reacts to... You're so tired. Oh, I was so... Well, because it's not just being awake for 24 hours. It's being entertaining for 24 hours. Yes. Oh, yeah. Especially... Oh, did you just do it on your own? Yeah. Oh, it wow. It was just me for 24 hours. The only break I had was like a... It was like a 20-minute break where we had had a planned video of like a... It was like a... Oh, what would you call that? Like a throwback video where you could watch different clips throughout the years from my stream just so I could run and take a shower to try to wake up. So it was like a 20 minute video I had everybody watch and I ran away to, to go clean up go and try to wake up. Yeah, I did a 24 hour stream for Extra Life. It was the first yeah. year. I actually had a bunch of guests who were on the show at the same time. Um, but around three in the morning, I was playing Minecraft, which was the wrong game to play at three in the morning. Uh-huh. And then I fell asleep oh, no. and then I slept for about four hours um, on stream. <laughs> and I woke up and I still had like we still had like 200 or 300 people there. And like wow. eventually, like somebody got a hold of somebody. One of my coworkers, because uh, we were doing it, you know, Microsoft got a hold of my family member and they came over and like came to our house and was like, hey, you're still streaming. And I was like, wait, what? And so it was, it was like a pretty, so yeah, um, it's no, it's no, ever since then I've like never decided to do it on my own. Cause it's really hard to do uh, 24 hours on your own. So it is. yeah, I so mad props. Well, thank you. I, I did do one of those extra life streams, but it was like with some friends in college before I knew what streaming was. Right. So it was like years before I actually tried it on my own. They can be fun. There, there, we do them. So I've done, we've done them. I have done four of them. Um, wow. We do them. I do them for Xbox. Uh, I did them for Xbox for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we raised about a quarter of a million dollars. Wow. Um, but it was like this is a whole team. So it's like yeah. No, yeah again, you're like you said. There's there's something to be said about raising fifty thousand just as a thing. But uh, uh, yeah, they're they're not easy. And we had a whole production team, and it was crazy, um, but a lot of fun. And that's actually what got me into streaming is when I was doing those. I was building PCs on stream. People were like, this is really entertaining. What if you did this all the time? And then it turned into a kind of a full-time thing. So um, I like, I, I love charity streams. I love giving back to yeah. the community. So I think it's awesome that you get to do some of that stuff. And then how do you choose the charities? Like, what was it about? Like, It's, it's tough because okay. there's so many charities out there and it's, it's really hard to figure out like what's the right what one you're going to do. Um, initially we went with stack up just because I have so many members of my community that are either veterans or active duty. Um, and so it was just kind of like, they approached me and I was like, you know what? That sounds like a really cool fit. And I've worked with them for a couple years now. Okay. And they're just a bunch of really, really good guys at the charity. Um, 
And it was cool because I got like pictures of people with like it was stuff like, that you were able to get. Yeah, it was like a thank you, and it had like my profile picture on it. And wow, that's it had, cool. Like, we sent out, I think it was like twenty-two crates the first year. So the crate is like so they're bringing video games to those sometimes veterans, sometimes active duty. Um, it's like a tub that has like a console in it, a bunch of games, headset, like every gaming thing you could ever need. They just ship them out to them. That's pretty yeah, cool. So I got a picture of basically like a warehouse of like, these are all of your tubs. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That's okay. cool. Yeah. So. And do any of those, have any of those guys, like have any of those people like continued to be like people that you maybe like gave a crate to and then they're still watching you many years later? Or? I, honestly, I don't know. I've met some of them at conventions, though. We're like, hey, I got my tub through you, or yeah, that's um, pretty cool. It's not always a tub. Sometimes it's like they send them off to a gaming convention so they can get away and experience that and have fun with them. So I actually like had dinner with some of them at one of the conventions, which was really really cool. Okay, well we are on literally the last little bits of your build. I've gotten to, like uh, we got to put I got to put this power cable right here. That'll power your hard drive. And then we have two more little power cables. So I'm going to let you do these last two connections. Once I find what I did with the other one. There's one. Where's this other one? What did I do with it? Did I shove it somewhere it's not supposed to be? Is the question. And then we can turn it on. There it is. Okay, found them. Okay, so these are the last two connections right here. Last two power cables that you have to do it. Okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to go into these. And you can see there's a little L. See how it like basically just lines up just like that. Okay. So I'll let you plug those two in. Mm. There's just two of them. Okay. And your whole thing is done and we can turn it on. Boom. There's one. Mm -hmm. Same thing. That one's just going to go into that connection right there. Like this? Yep. Oh. Hello? Why isn't it lining up? Is it yelled the right way? I don't think it was. Oh. Well, that's one of you. It's like, luckily they make it so it only goes in one way. Yeah, no, this has to go this way. It's always weird. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Maybe? Get in there. There, there it is. You've go. done Jeez. it. You've hooked up the last one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nicely throw this one down below. And then your PC is basically finished. Okay. Now all your cables are managed. Good to go there. So there it is, the whole system. I'm going to turn it over real quick and just make sure these one cable stayed. Just takes a second because these get wacky. And then we're good to go. There it is. And you just want that to be clean. And now we can take our cover. Pop that on. There it is. Now it's completely hidden. You can't That's see any really cable management. Nice. Even though we made it look nice. We made it look pretty to cover it up. And then this just goes on like that. There you go. I'm going to screw those in. There you go. Okay, if you want to come over to this side, here's your dust filter. It goes the other way. Yeah, perfect, just like that. And it goes down. Yes, yeah, kind of like sits down and then goes down. Hello? Maybe. Oh, it's, it's, it's like, like this. Like this. There you go. <laughs> That's all good. There you go. And then oh, boom. That makes sense. And then that goes at the bottom. So that just pops right on there. God. Wait, what? Uh, it's actually a little easier if I set it up. There you go. Because I can't see. Yeah. Is 
So right there, push it in and pop the top one in. Okay, there. now I'm going to hand you your two last pieces. Okay, <laughs> that goes on the top, just like that. I love that. My eyes are just popping over it like, hello. And then this goes just like, I'm trying to remember, just like that, I think. Yep. Just pop that down. Okay, your PC is built. You have an entirely built PC. That's so cool. There it is right there. Oh, uh, last, last little bit that you get to do. Yes. A little piece of plastic. Peel right off of the I.O. There, oh, I see. All right. And that is the celebratory peel. So now let's plug it in. We should have a power cable. If not, I have one right here. Okay, we have one. <laughs> Luckily, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's plug this in right here. Hopefully, there's enough room here in this power cable thing to plug in said power cable. There's not. Oh, never mind. There's one right here. Okay, cool. There you go. All right. There you go. Now, push that up to the one Boop. and then hit that button right there. There it is. Ooh. It is lit up like a Christmas tree. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The system is on. And then it's going to reset here in a second. Just does this little, as it's going through its whole cycle there. And there it goes. Looks so nice. Look at that. Look at all the colors. I know. And then it's going to reboot. Yeah. Because it's just got to do a hard reboot. And then it'll go back on in just a second. There it is. Wow. And it's going to do it one more it'll time. It'll do it again. Just those initial, initial post things. Mm -hmm. And we're just waiting for all the stairs, all the fans going, and we're done. Now, let us do the peel. So what everybody loves. We're going to do our peel real quick. I'm excited. Yeah, so we're going to peel the inside one. That's not the, not the fun one. And we'll get the other one on. So why is this not going to come? There it is. Okay, so you peel that off real quick. Ooh. Yeah, let's get it up so you yeah, guys can see it. Yeah, make sure they can see it. They can't see it. No, nope. okay. Well, do it. Yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. go. There you go. And then we'll go, then we'll go to the front one here in a sec. You're peeling me. I'm appealing. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. Nice to see. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's, get, let's get this one on, and then you can do the final peel here in the front. <laughs> okay. Now, if you want to seal that in there. You get a great view of my back right now, guys. Super appreciate that. Okay. If you want to come right, where do you guys, okay, let's see. Yeah, if you want to come at? right here, we'll get it from here. Here we go. We'll, we'll line it up from here, just like that. If you want to grab the peel right here, and then we'll peel it this way. Okay. I'll give you a little corner here let's just start to start. It, yeah. There you go. All right. All yours, madame. This is a big moment. Oh. There you go. Oh, that is a good peel. That is a quality peel. Oh, it's a good sound. Um, and there it is, guys. A fully built, <laughs> custom built PC. That was, you know what? Honestly, that was a dang good peel. I got to say, it? that was, yeah. I, we have had a lot of peels here, and that was a legit, really good peel. Hi! Hi! How are you guys? <laughs> Hi! And there it is from there. Okay, so guys, we're going to take a quick break. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to move from here and head on over to, uh, head on over to um, the... Um, uh, we're going to head on over to play some Apex. Can we get this camera real quick? Just get it. 
hi, hi, how are you? We're going to play some, there he is. Hi, you're gonna, you're, I don't know. I just wanted, like, I felt like we had to get some highs in yeah. there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and play some Apex now, get everything going in there and uh, go from there. We're going to get some, get some nice B-roll of this and all that sort of, it was cool, but it was, yeah, it was, it was still fun um, and go from there. So yeah, you guys couldn't see me, but that's because it was spooky. <laughs> That was your own spooky stream it was right there. Spooky. Now, before we go through this, let's just give a people a recap of what we actually have inside of this beast of an Arctic. Uh, it's like a stormtrooper, black, red, and white, black, and we uh, 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 build it stuff. But it came out absolutely gorgeous. It's got that black and red. I heard rumor is there is a dragon. We have a dragon, right? We got a dragon to to celebrate we the build. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Lucky the dragon, who's MSI's. Yeah. Uh, MSI's uh, mascot. So they got you uh, for your, your yeah. community um, to go with it. So there's Lucky the oh, Dragon uh, to go with your, um, your amazing community as well as a big thank you for being on the show. <laughs> now we're not done yet, guys. Uh, we're still going to be moving on. We still got one more code we're going to be giving away as well. So we got some more gaming ahead um, and all that well as, as well. Plus, you know, more dragon and stuff like that. So now we're going to transition over. We're going to take about a five minute break, trans over to some, uh, some Apex Legends. Oh, eight minute break. Sorry, eight minute and 12 seconds and 22 nanoseconds. That's it's very specific how long the break is going to be. <laughs> so we're going to be transitioning to that right now. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys in just a few minutes and we'll be right back. Live, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We can actually see chat. Uh, we're already jumping into a game. Uh, I am going to immediately not be the jump master because that's dumb. <laughs> Playing with uh, Cauliflower. We also have somebody else uh, who is a pro Apex player joining us. And that's not true. I don't know what's happening, but uh, it's going to be something fun. Um, up to you where we drop. Yeah, I, I got this. We're going to go uh, down I here. Do. Okay, sounds good. We're going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this for science. Mm-hmm. What is, wait, you're, you're doing it's a like dance. A, yeah, it's a skydiving emote or something. I don't remember what oh, they call really? it. Yeah. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> I'm going to do a normal emote called get a gun and not die. Okay. Sensitivity, holy crap. <laughs> uh, don't you love it when you just jump on another PC and you're yeah. like, oh, that was not what I wanted. But, ooh, Mozambique here. <laughs> Okay, what do we got up here? Ooh, where do we got that bow? Mm. Let's see what else we got. Another bow. Okay, uh, I really want like not a bow, but okay. So you've played like a handful of Apex. Uh, I've actually played quite a bit, uh, but way more on uh, way more on console uh, than on PC. I just started playing on PC. Um, and I, and I, like, I didn't really start playing until this recent season. Ah. Um, so again, um, so I played some before, but yeah, I, I, I love this game. I wish I was much better at this game, um, but I'm not. So we'll, we'll just, we'll pretend. <laughs> this comes with, uh, practice. Yes, exactly. And if I, I, I wish I had more time to play. Um, I love playing games. I, I mean, I've been a game developer for 22 years. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just one of those things that I, I've wanted to play, but just never really gotten gotten all the chances. So I, I this is my favorite point of, point of uh, Mod Monday, because then I just get to play games uh, with cool people like you. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's see how we can do. We can get this Phoenix thing. <laughs> this Phoenix thing. That's what we can do. Mm-hmm. We're going to win. I believe. Good. That makes me feel better. Ooh, wingman. I used to, those used to be good. Um, they still are. I'm going to go and pick that up. I like okay. heavy more than anything else. <laughs> Ooh, is this? Ooh. I like this mouse. I've never used it. No, I do too, it. actually. It's weird. Yeah, actually... Like in a good mag. way. Okay. Okay, we're moving. You're in charge. <laughs> I kind of. Put her figured. in charge. <laughs> uh, you? Oh no, I was. Uh, it's uh, from the movie Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I oh, got sorry. you. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of. I've been watching a lot of that show. Um. Uh. Oh man, what is it called? Mythic Quest. 
um, with uh, on Apple TV about the game development studio. And one of the one of the people there, Poppy, she gets like no uh, like pop culture references. So I think it's just oh. like got bad habits. Just ingrained in you now. Yeah, it is terrible. Terrible, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. I just like shotties because I don't know because it makes me feel better about missing. <laughs> They're good though if you can land them. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be surprised if I can land my shots. If I'm being honest, because the sensitivity. Shooting. Yep. They're over there. Ooh, I like that better. <laughs> I'm, ca I'm catching up with you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go plant these, uh, plant these roses real quick for bonus points. Mm. Moza and Beak here. You guys win? No, we. Oh god! <laughs> Get him! Oh god! This is not going. Blocking well. with your shield. I blocked him with your shield with my shield. It's weird gaming on a different setup. Oh, <laughs> we won. That's, yeah, we definitely that's, won there. That's how I won. One warm up game. Yeah. That's what it was, guys. It's a warm up. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, gonna go ahead and leave this match. Let's get it going again. Let's get it going again. Let's get a GG in. GG in chat. There we go. <laughs> Let's get a GG in chat. Okay. That went really well. <laughs> um, I think that everybody is nervous to watch this play. They should be scared, Every yes. They should be. We're, we're going in it again, though. The first 10 are warm ups. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first, however many you need. Yeah. Oh, I feel good, though. I feel good. I'm loosening up now. I've got this digital storm PC in front of me. It's like making lots of light. So I know I'm going to be good this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting into the game, getting that getting game face on. PLD fanboy, trust Roby on a PC, but not gaming with it. Fair enough. Fair enough. OK. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching, though. We had to, like, what? I think we topped out, like, 1,500, which is pretty awesome. Thanks for all yeah. of you guys for being a part of this. I should buy out Intel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys think I do really well streaming, don't you? You're a Twitch millionaire. That's what it... That's... that's, that's yeah. Everybody. Okay, uh, <laughs> Anybody that streams. And not... There you go. T-Roy. And me. I knew it. Okay. And there you go. Let's just really, go. really trust your leadership. Oh, no pressure. Nope, none whatsoever. But I'm judging <laughs> you internally. OK, well, then we're going to go to the fight ring. OK, that sounds nice. It's fun. Have you ever like been? Where I go for the nope. It's, I go there for vacation. We get to box. Yep. Pretty sure we're gonna have other people. Maybe, no, maybe not. Dropping hot. Okay, I'm gonna split off. Oh. Um. Got a wingman. Ooh, got some arm. Er. Got an arm. Ooh, wow. You got an arm? I got it, yeah. I got, I got armor. I meant to say armor, but I said... <laughs> oh, I was like, uh... How do you get in there? You just jump in. Just like that. And you punch him. Oh. Very violent. Mm-hmm. I got a knockdown shoot. Oh, there. Oh, that's a better one. 
what I want. Ooh, helmet. I already have a better helmet, apparently. We won! Nobody's in this arena, but I feel better <laughs> about it. Where is everybody? Everybody. Okay. Nope, nothing there. I see like this thing on my map. What thing? It's like blue. It's like a, a light beam. Oh, it's like a, a weapon you can ping. Oh. Well, I guess I could ping it. It's this thing. Oh, it's a vehicle. So what happens if you win, if you like do a fight and then win in that arena? They just die. Oh. It's, it's not anything like... Great. Yeah, it, yeah. All right. Okay, so we're going that way. Okay, got you. Yeah, let's go find the people. Why, 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 the action. Why can't we do like a hug round where everybody gets together and just hugs it out? Because I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. T. Roy Jenkins. I don't know if that's what he meant to, but that's what I think of when I see it. Good old Leroy. At least you got chicken. Yeah, at least I got chicken. Such a good, such a good, <laughs> good laughing moment. Okay, what do we got? Oh, I do need a blue helmet, I think. There we go. Well, I'm gonna grab some more heavy ammo. Ooh, is that is that people shooting? Mm, yes, actually it is. Do you hear people shooting? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Feel better? You guys are nowhere near me, but it's fine. Oh, kill leader's Let's dead. Let's go uh, towards the shooting. I'm following you. We're going into maintenance. There's gotta be somebody around here. Oh, these there are all are. Like, closed. There's people over there. Right here, shoot. Oh, I feel danger. <laughs> Starting to get that tingle. Not in a good way. Okay. You guys are shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna come help you shoot at stuff. We're gonna, gonna win. Find the people. <laughs> Down. Did you live? Okay, mode is down. Oh, is that you? Yeah, I'm right next oh. to you. Hey, we did really good. We, we did, did really awesome. Good. We... Zero is that hanging took... in there. That took three shotgun shots. That guy lived. Oh, are we back? Are we still, are we dead? Oh, there he goes. We're dead now. <laughs> I still think we did really well, guys. I'm really proud of you all. Um, 
Yes, hey, you we got all a, got. Oh, t yeah, we did. We did damage. We got damage on the board. Okay. Okay. Looking better. We haven't done the tenth code yet, guys. Okay, tenth code's coming though. Yeah, they keep bringing that up. And the code is cauliflower. 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 But spelled the way cauliflower is, not cauliflower the vegetable. Way to confuse Oh, never them. mind. No, it is the vegetable. Oh, they said it is. <laughs> is it really? No, they really did spell it cauliflower the vegetable. They're trying like to, it. They're, they're, they're really trying, trying to mess them up. Yeah, they're really trying to mess you up. They did, guys. It's the veggie spelling. The veggie right. spelling. Time for a rebrand. <laughs> Vegetable. <laughs> <clears throat> there it is. There's all of them right there. Pride, MSI Carbon, Intel 11900K, Crucial Ballistics, Horror Games, Dead by Daylight, Dad Joke, Resident Evil, Lady Dimish... Dim what is it? Dimish... Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> Lady Dimitrisk. Dimitrisk. There you go. And, and Cauliflower. Roby can be broccoli. Wow, that is. I'm gonna be fried okra. Oh, I gotta choose my character. People, people are like, yes, that's why I chose okra. <laughs> You're like okra, <laughs> yuck. No, no ice night. I'm having raspberry pure leaf iced tea. Oh, I can do. Oh, I like that. I'm Brock Lee. Not You're broccoli. Brock Lee? Bro I'm Brock Lee. B R O C K Lee. Brock Lee. Mm -hmm. That sounds way better. Now, now I feel inspired, guys. <laughs> now we're going to win. Oh, they always make you the jump master. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm used to that. This is what my friends do, too. Okay, we doing fight fight club again, fight ring? No, we're going to the blue ship. Oh. I mean we could go in there again if you wanted. No, no, I I, I no, don't don't oh I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. I thought <laughs> I knew the plan. Okay, I'm gonna just look like I'm gonna be good, so I'm gonna go up. Oh I missed. Oh that was good. Oh T Ray got that one. G Roger, what is that? I got a treasure pack. Yeah, those those pop out. What do they do? Uh, good exactly. question. Ooh, I like Evo shields. <laughs> Grab this. There we go. Uh, ooh, 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 something's happening. <laughs> you good? I'm happy. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Are you dying? No. Okay, good. I just, I just like to panic. Makes me feel better as a player. I feel more. I feel makes more. Makes you feel alive. Makes me feel more in tune with my character. Ah. is shooting at people i have 10 ammo what is how is that even possible okay i'm gonna get this ammo here there we go. i tried to take you far away so that you could like loot up thank you that's very kind of you i appreciate it <laughs> that's the, that's probably the right thing to do bum, 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 bum. Let me feel like, let me have a little moment in the game before I'm obliterated. Well, yeah, I didn't think we needed like super hot drops or anything. These are also really short games. And Ruby's dead. And Ruby's dead. It's all good. Yeah, I'm with you. I like to do call outs, like on your northwest, western, north. Uh huh. Yeah, see, That's that helps, right? Very, very helpful, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely know where you are. I'm glad. That's that's really why I do it. 
There are people in the ring. Oh, snap. I'm probably going to fight him. I can't shoot inside, can I? No, you can't. I knocked one. Where's the other one? I don't know. Maybe inside? They're on the other side. Okay, there they are. There they are. I got him. Got him. <laughs> Just Give me here. Punch him out. It's fine. Where'd he go? He jumped back in the ring. Oh, what a... He's just running away. There you go. Hey, we got something. Ten seconds, our ring's just ahead. We actually killed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> We're legit. Too legit to quit. What's this guy have? Is there are other people voice. here? Ah! Oh god, where? Uh, other side of the ring. Okay. Like, over there. Oh god! What in the heck? My audio is so screwed yeah. up. Get him. Okay, we're almost dead. There's a T-Roy. path right here behind you. Yeah, he's behind you, T-Roy. In the ring. No, now. no, no, ring. Come on, T-Roy. T-Roy. Ah. <laughs> T-Roy. <laughs> Take it. Well, I remember when we used to believe in our teammate, but just, no, he actually, look at that. Oh, you did great. Okay, that felt good. That felt good, that felt good. Yeah. Right. Let's do it again. <laughs> again, again. I got zero, okay, that's great. Thank you for that. Thank you for reminding me I've gotten zero wins. Everybody enjoying themselves, chat? I like your dragon emotes. Those are cool. Oh, do you? Yeah. We've got a bunch bad? of them. No, I was just asking. <laughs> you were like genuinely surprised. Really? I think they're terrible. <laughs> oh my God, no, I don't. I love them. They're so <laughs> unique. They are unique. Okay, here we go, lifeline. <laughs> Uh, she's not playing on the new PC. It's actually currently in the middle of being set up. Mm -hmm. Roby, ask her about dragons. I think that's what they're saying. Is that all they said? Ask her about dragons? Well, they should. They used two of your emotes, so I was like, I can't read that. I don't know what that means. Uh. Yeah, you're like just as confused as I am. Um. Okay, here we go. You're the J. Hey, you're already the jump master. I, yeah, it, it already up. knows. It's like stop giving it to other people. Let's go here. It's gonna be spicy though. You ready for spice? Let's do it. Spicy. Here we go, guys. It's gonna get spicy. Oh, there's two groups. A little bit of a hot drop. Oh, there's four groups. Gonna see what happens. Probably oh, not good. Uh, I don't even know what that is. There's like oh. bird sounds now. Whoa. Yeah, there uh, were bird sounds. I don't know what to do with that bird sounds. Oh, what is it? Sucks. Get down. <laughs> oh. oh, never mind. Ow, she burned me. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> we got a punched. couple of them. I punched them. Yeah, I'm proud of you. 
I hit them twice with my with my and then I got burned. I'm just trying to find another gun. <laughs> oh. Are you dead? Oh no, you're oh, alive. Oh, please don't see. Oh, that's not good. Don't see me. Oh, that was legit. They hidden. Let's get you some good stuff in there. Cookies. There's some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> cookies? Think, are those Thin Mints? Oh, I love Thin Mints. Cauliflower is uh, is sponsored by Thin Mints. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that would be great. What is that weapon? Which one? The Volt? Yeah, it looks all oh, crazy. I feel bad. I gotta get your. Oh, banner. there's another one over there. Oh, there's another one over there. They're coming up, oh, popping no. left. Left. Yep. I don't. Uh, oh. I wanted to go get your banner. It's okay. I my my banner is pretty cool. <laughs> it comes with uh, it comes with free thin mints. I owe you thin mints. Oh wait, no, you didn't get me. So you don't. I don't owe you thin mints yet. But yeah, I, I didn't get mints. you. <laughs> Anytime somebody raises me, they get free thin mints. Really? I'm just telling you. I just want you to know that's how I'm able to do so well in games is having paying <laughs> people in thin mints. I'm down for that. I mean, who doesn't like Thin Mints? I know. I just, okay, let me just, let's ask this to chat. Chat, favorite Girl Scout cookie? And I know a lot of people who are not in the U.S. are like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. People are like, frozen Thin Mints. Yes, frozen Thin Mints are good. Yeah. Samoas, Samoas, yes, those are good. Edwin, can somebody ban Edwin? I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding, Edwin. <laughs> Free like ones. The, um... The dosey dos are like the peanut butter sandwich. Oh ones. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are legit too, right? I love peanut butter in anything. Mm hmm Have you ever had peanut butter and jelly on hamburgers? Uh no. No, no. So yeah, you do like a jalapeno jelly with like a candied bacon on a hamburger is super grub. That sounds really odd. I'll no, take your word for it. it's really good. No, don't. You got to go try it. Find it tonight. Right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, right now. Stream's over. Let's <laughs> just go. Okay, here we go. Here, oh, New Year Jump Master. Um, let's go. We, we've done everything. We've done Wait. this whole game. We've done the whole map. You guys got to try it like it's like it's there's a bunch of food trucks and there's actually a, a place here in California. No, it's in Florida that we had them as well. And they're super good. Peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jelly hamburgers. I'm sure you could find them here. Oh, yeah. I just don't think you know what you're missing. I, I feel bad. I'll try it. You should. You can DM me and be like, it was the greatest thing. <laughs> it blew my mind. I'm gonna go over here to this tower. This looks like a nice tower. Fantastic. <laughs> that seems good. There we go. Backpack, backpack, backpack. <laughs> um oh, a light mag. Oop. Ooh, I got some extra supplies. Mm. I like running where there's no people cuz then I feel safe. <laughs> 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 and you enjoy Apex? I do like Apex. <laughs> I just wish I was better at the shooting. Yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah. At least you didn't say, yeah, I wish you were better too. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I 
Hey, you're getting damage. I am, I am, that is true. Thank you for making me feel better. Anytime. No. Oh. Um. Uh, what else? Uh, lots of good stuff over there. Yeah, a whole lot. I'm gonna take that. Oh wait, never mind, Ken. I already have one of those. Lame. These are nice loot areas. They have like really yeah. nice stuff. That's why I like coming here. Six X sniper. Hmm. Don't need that. <sighs> okay. I really need a purple shield and a purple helmet. I need a blue helmet. Well, in a, in a perfect world, yeah, I, I, want... I would like one too. Well, I just want to, I, I, I feel like it's manifest destiny. <laughs> if I say it, then it'll come. Oh, yeah. okay. You put it out into the world. Yeah, I, I get that. Game, if you could give me the following. It might work. You never know. Well, I will keep an eye out. Man, we're in the ring, so, like, we really don't have to hurry. That's good. Yeah. To those who need it, there is an extended energy mag here. Level three. Half the squads remain. Well, hey, we've we've eliminated half yeah. the squads. That's good. Good job on us. We're doing great. We've been uh, critical to the success of this mission. Hey, I found a blue helmet, at least. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at this, guys. You've gotten over 20 minutes of gameplays. This is riveting stuff right here. I have, I have, I have gotten so much loot. I feel so good. When they, when somebody kills me, they'll feel really good. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll get all your good stuff. Yeah, that's like great. You know, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm part of this ecosystem. You're being thoughtful. That's right. That's right. I am doing a service. Uh oh. I hear explosions. Oh, explosions. Where are the people? They're not here. They all left. Apparently not. They're like, nope. You know who's playing right now? Roby Tech. Oh, that sucks. Poor champion. Remind me to send him a card. <laughs> Ooh, purple helmet. You guys didn't need that? No, I didn't see it. You can have it. Oh. What do I need? I need a stock for my hemlock. Oh, there we go. See? See how it works? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. It's just like I just said it and it came. It like knew. Oh, never mind. I need a barrel. <laughs> it wasn't what it. <laughs> so you didn't need the stock? No, but you still made it appear. I'm still saying, I'm still saying it's manifest destiny. Sure. Well, I just let people know where I'm at. Let's see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's a shield. Sniper stock. Okay. Oh, 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 oh shoot, shooting. shooting. Yeah, it's in there. Coming. Don't worry, guys. I got you back. 
Um, I don't see them. Maybe it's a fake shooter. I don't believe that. <laughs> they don't have decoys? Mm, I mean, there are decoys. But not that. But not, right. not shooting ones. shooting from oh more shooting uh we're top three <laughs> just so you know we're legit winning well two people are killing each other right now so mm -hmm. so we gotta kill oh, them oh heroi oh you guys are shooting we are i'm not anywhere near you so i'm i'm your secret I weapon knocked one we gotta go over there Pick them off. They don't know I'm here, guys. They think you guys are by yourselves. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Maybe don't go that way. <laughs> Whoops. You got this, I believe. Where are you guys? Wow, you're way down there. Right next to you. You're getting that tingle feeling, guys. <laughs> so good luck. You're on your own. Oh, that was close. We I got, got one. We got second. Well, hey. So, you know. I did kill one person. Or knocked him. That was not bad. No. I mean, we oh. looted most of the game. But like... <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody, everybody did something. Yeah. Uh, I knocked one, you knocked one. Why not? Okay, well, let's do one more. Yeah. Tomber, is, yeah, we're doing one more? Okay. Okay, yes, okay, sure. here we go. Let's do okay. it. All right. This time, we're gonna win. <laughs> and an yeah. upred, ooh, ooh. Looting is a legit strategy. Absolutely. I did shoot. I, I hit the guy. I hit him a couple of times. He was just he was just not ready for me. One more game. We're going to celebrate. Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate all of you believing in me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the same chats then. Do we? Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see, well, right now I only see our, ch I see our combined chat. Uh, okay. Um, cause I can see my chat. Can you see all of them? I just have mine pulled up. Okay. I, but sure. How many people do you have in your chat right now? 300. Okay. So there's 1175 people. So you're only cool. seeing some, yeah. Yeah, I only have like a portion of them. Yeah. That's okay. That's fine. You're talking to the most important ones. Okay, I'm the jump master. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yes, all of those places. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to. We're actually gonna go in here. Ooh, let's go city actually. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of people going to join us there. We're going to go more here, though, so we should be okay. Mm. Looks like we're going to be by ourselves. Uh, one there, guy's I going long. It. Yeah, here we go, I right in the middle. see everybody now. Maybe. Okay, there's going to be one person Ooh. who went wide. 
Oh, definitely. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I got Survive. Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, I got shot. You better leave. I'm here to help, but all I have is uh, right start. below, right below you. Yeah, that didn't work. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have a gun. I did not either. I wasn't expecting all of those people to be there. <laughs> I think maybe uh, it was um, your warm-up game because you were jump master. Yeah. You haven't been jump master yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's. Yeah, that's uh, how that works, yeah, right? That we're gonna play again. That was a terrible. That was a terrible game. <laughs> that was. In fact, let's not go to Camelot. Camelot is a silly place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. I feel all googly. That was terrible, guys. I just, I thought that would be a better place. You feel all, did you say googly? Yeah, googly. Like, it's just like, that was, that was like legit, like, uh, I was not ready for that kind of conflict. Okay. Uh, inside, I'm crying inside. We eat ham and jam a lot. Whoa. What? That's what somebody said. He says, we eat ham and jam a lot. Yeah, the Camelot song. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Camelot. 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 Just because some watery tart lobbed a scimitar at me does not mean some... I love that movie. Such a good movie. <laughs> this is fun, though. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope you're having fun. I'm having a great time. Okay. I like Ponyo. That's a good movie, too. Ooh, you're back to Jumpmaster. Apparently it learned. Let's not let Roby do that again. <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> we'll go... We could do... Actually, there's not a whole lot over here. Go over there. Oh, yeah, that's, Hopefully, that's there's, there's less people there. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, our guy just peeled off. I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> no! Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but okay. First blood. Good thing it's not us. First blood. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this weapon, actually. Should at least be able to get some guns. Something. Something. <laughs> we have a backpack. Backpack, backpack. Dora would be proud. Dora would be proud. Eh. Can you say deadly neurotoxin? Okay, let's go check these buildings over here. Ooh. Oh. That was me. Okay, I was like, the, what? Getting the, I just shot the little okay, yeah, purple we're... thing out of this guy. What'd I get? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Um, we gotta go. Eh. Okay, let's go. Do, do, do. I like this game so much. It's just, it's really fun. Yeah, it is. It's got a great, it's got a great pace to it. It's good for your heart.
That's right. We made top two. I don't know we if you did. know this, but Team Liquid is already called. We already have org offers. Yep. Just saying. Mm -hmm. They said, and I quote, most entertaining duo on the internet. Hands down. <laughs> And I was like, yeah. Duh. Uh. -huh. You see us build a PC? That's just the beginning. <laughs> Man, there's a whole lot of not good loot in here. Oh, you're on the other side of the... <laughs> The wall, the mountain. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what that is. Move mine. Okay, ten seconds. Oh, I hear shooting. Oh, there's Long shooting way here way. by us. Very, yeah. It's fine. Just contact. Oh, geez, he's already hit. T Roy's down. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Trying to get to you guys. I hear a octane coming up? Maybe. Yep. There was a jump pad right here. Where are they? Are they on? Oh. Oh, jeez. They're coming up. Yep, yep. They're behind us, too? I'm gonna find you guys. How do you get up there? Um, come around this side. I'm coming, I'm coming. Are they dead? Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't worry, we got him. Where? Oh, okay. Oh god, get out of there. Oh, no, oh, why god. did my ult bounce off the door? Get out of the way. I'm shielding real quick. I am doing. Anything? Where are they? Right here. I see them, yep. They're scared. Are there people behind them they're now? Inside. Yeah, there are people behind them. Go. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Knocked one. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. An octane's cracked. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, ah! That's me. Wow. Oh, yeah, let's get some energy going on here. <laughs> Just needed a second to warm up. It's fine. Yeah, no kidding. It's all good. <laughs> nice oh, I guess I could put my lifeline out here on your uh, your health. Yeah. I mean, it would be helpful. I know. I just realized if you what wanted. I'm not <laughs> oh. I don't know why this keeps pinging randomly. Oh, I need to. Oh, great. Uh, this shield. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. gunshots. People. Were there any grenades anywhere? I don't I see saw. any. Uh, oh well. You see them? Um, I think they're underneath. 
Yeah, they're underneath. They're coming up. Oh, shoot! Crud. Where? Oh, God. Oh, no. Up, Please, up. no. Uh. Oh, I was trying to re <laughs> I was trying to get my shield back up. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where they were. Yeah, they were above. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. Eighth. Okay, so we're apparently we're gonna do one more. <laughs> Okay. Still no season nine wins. Thanks for rubbing it in, game, but Let's do it one more time. <laughs> See you later, Jera Wow. The new is machine it? must be Oh. Yeah, she's really it. good. She's really good. Oh god. And, oh dear. And I am uh, I am I am a new player who's been playing for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go with that. Oh, she's at Intel Studio. Yeah, I am. It's cool how close it is to me. Yeah, it's not close to me at all. Yeah, no, I know. You had to fly here. Yeah. Not you, the guy. Who are you talking to, Tacky Pock? Oh, they said you are so gorgeous. So oh, I am. you are gorgeous. I Thank you. I I am on Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, T Roy's the jump master. There's enemies everywhere. <laughs> oh, and I'm the jump master. Well, uh, let's see. Where oh boy. Gonna go? <laughs> Be prepared. We could go back into the city. Yeah, right I, might, I I actually might try back here. Okay. Cause I like that little, the train station. I, we'll, we'll grab that a little, when we're a little closer here. It's, yeah, it's down, but sure. You don't like it? It works. It is a spot to jump. I feel like I'm being judged. I feel no, like I'm being no, judged. No, 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 There are definitely the other spot. people here. It's just a heads up. Go. Oh God, there really are other people here. I need a gun. Somebody's here. They're hiding. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he punched me in the head. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to get over near you, but I just blew up a Cossack barrel and oh, and there's another. There's a lot of people here. Yes, there are. Nice. Now they're friends. Oh, there's two of them in there. What? I'm shielding. Oh shit! Never mind. Uh. Oh no! Run! <laughs> no! No, T Roy! <laughs> T Roy! <laughs> Roy. That was terrible. I should not be jump master ever. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you did great. She's like, I'm not disagreeing. You did great. Yeah, I'm waiting on word. I'm, wait I'm doing the famous ear to the thing. I'm waiting on word. Are we doing one more? Or?
Okay, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to end on that terrible loss. <laughs> Blaming completely on Roby Tech. Okay, so let's let's go back. Uh, Cauliflower, for those who don't know you, why don't you just recap where they can find you. If they want to tune in, what's the plan? Well, you can find me Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific on my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash cauliflower. And you'll see me playing all kinds of stuff like Dead by Daylight, Apex Legends, horror games, and new things when they come out. Okay. Well, guys, this has been Mod Monday. Don't forget, tune in next week. We're building two PCs with the, what, the group from Misfits, so that's going to be absolutely awesome. And then, again, a uh, big announcement from Cauliflower on Wednesday. Um, she is becoming the emperor of Venezuela or something. It's so big, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we hope you had a really great time. I super appreciate all of you guys tuning in, and we will see you guys uh, next week.